Get on camera, bro. <laughs> Just blocking. Well, what's going on here? My name is Mike Toledo. Joe Garcia. Oh, Brandon. Oh, sorry. I'm reverse. I'm switching. I'm switching. Joe Garcia. I'm Garcia. I'm Garcia. I'm Brandon. Brandon. Joe. Well, there's Big John over there. Say what's up, Big John. He's Mr. Incognito. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Listen, we guys, we got this uh, dent that uh, Brandon is standing in front of. Don't worry, I've got another shot for you guys. I'll tell you, I'll show you what it looks like. It's not as uh, easy as it looks. Uh, here, there, <laughs> it's like, there you go, bang. Man white. Yeah, right there. So, Joe, we got some lock pressure, don't we, dude? Yes, sir. Yes, we do. Yeah. It well, gives you, me the chills a little bit, Mike. Yeah. Well, you took, you guys took the window out, <laughs> right? No, actually. We. <laughs> no. This yeah. is what we're going to use right here. No. It's a small Dude, inch old school roto brooch. It goes with the, huh? the Milwaukee. Yeah, this is what we used to use back in the day. That is right. Three, what we three quarter inch. Uh, we used to get. You used to punch a hole, yeah. right? Like punch take hole, a punch, drill it, and pop a hole, right? And do this. <laughs> and then take game. that and then friggin' drill in, dude, because the, 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 the regular bits. Back then and still today, if you tried to make an access point with a regular bit, it would take off on you, and then it would hit the skin. Is the audio sound okay? Let me get the comments going here, guys. So I will check out the comments here for you guys too as well. What's up, Hugo? How are you doing, uh, Robert? And uh, what's up, David White from Connecticut? Dude, I haven't seen you in a minute, man. Dry ice says uh, David. Uh, and then uh, we got Chris Dale on there too, NJ. So drill it and bill it, Travis Daniels says. Yeah, and you got a good old, good old saying right there. So what we're thinking, Joe, and let's do a summary here. We'll kind of, kind of summarize the cost of what this is. Uh, we, I left some money on the table, to be honest with you, but this is a $2,100 return. It is a customer out of pay pocket. Technically, what happened is that one party hit another party. Nobody wants to go through insurance, so they're going to pay out of pocket. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit on my Mobile Tech RX. I left some money on the table for sure. And Joe's like, look, look, look even I didn't count that. Well, I figured with Joe Garcia's here, he's going to take out the window. And sure, sure enough, we took out the window. Now, if you saw something earlier, a little live video, right? You and Brandon tag team in this thing. <laughs> yep. Yeah, right. Yeah. And we had to call a glass guy, not call, but my neighbor is a glass guy. And he puts windows in and out for a living. And he came over here and did the tap. Right. Yeah. We, he was kind of our savior this morning because we were scratching our heads on this one, trying to get it uh, released at the bottom and I'll you know, spare you the, yeah. the boring details. But yeah. we got it out. And uh, so we're going to get good access. We're not going to have to use that drill. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, so. Yeah, we. Uh, I think we were probably ready for the estimate. You want yeah. to do that? I'm going to do the estimate. You guys can entertain. I'll hook this phone up too, but I'm because I'm going to hide some information here just a little bit. So, Joe, you can talk about like, okay. and, and Brandon, you guys can talk about your what your plan of attack. If you don't. Yeah. Well, let's. Uh, do you have a auto rider or a posture marker, Mike? Yeah, I do. I, do. I got one in my truck. I can go grab it real quick. Oh, I got one right here. So, let me help you out. All right. Let's see if this will show up. I forgot different colors too. If you yeah, want, yeah, we're gonna need different color. If you have like pink or something, it's my favorite color. Okay. I got all kinds. I got your pink. I got hot yellow. Which one uh, you, one of those because it shows up really nice uh, for the camera. Yeah. I got a pink one in my. That's brand right. new though. You know what, dude? I'm going to go get my uh, get pink one? one out of the truck just okay. because it's got a, a white tip. So while he's talking about that, Brandon doesn't have a mic, so that's why he's being so quiet right now. Yeah, oh, there he is. So, Brandon, what were you guys, you and Joe, were, me, you, Joe, were talking about. So what do you, what do you think, dude? What, 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 which way you want to – what we what we were planning to do? Uh, I mean, well, we talked about a couple of different plans at the back. You know, if you can't tell from the picture, let me see. You got some more damage down here. So obviously we got the main body line. Super stretched right above and right below. Pictures definitely do it justice, but it almost looks like some of you just pinched that body line right there. So right off the bat, that's kind of the most concerning spot that we're thinking about. Got the door all the way taken apart. 
yeah that, well that is that is more nasty than than yeah. we when than it looks actually it's than it what it appears on photo so you guys saw me post a photo on there and um it really like i said it doesn't do any justice right there so going back to what brandon was saying is that we want to put some tabs right here we're also going to put a double lateral tension going across here so we set that up and then we're going to use joe's new pull system that he has and we're going to pull outward this way okay while pulling this way this and this is just holding so much pressure. So, and it goes all the way down here in case you guys, you PDR techs know that there is here, there's, there's a body line crown right here. So we were looking at this as well, determining what should we do first. Now with PDR, we always know that it's, it's either crown dominant or low dominant. So you have to figure out which one and you have to be very, very careful about what you want to do first. You have to pay attention to what it's going to give you. So if you start making tap down marks, it's telling you, no, sir, don't even think about it. Push. All right. So we would push, take some of the crown pressure off that. Then then the tap that the crown would be way more cooperative. But we don't know yet. So we're going to find out. Okay. It's very hard to predict to say, oh yeah, that's going to be a crown dominant repair. Until you start actually doing one or the other, it will tell you. So that's the same thing with this. The great thing about doing a double lateral pull is that you're going to get tension pulled back on even side and at the same time. So it's like Joe was saying, it's almost like reversing it the way it happened, right? That's hopefully the way we can do it. Is take as much pressure off as we, as we can in the initial first go which gives us less cleanup uh, work at the end because we don't want to be fixing push marks or unwanted preventable tap downs and, and all that other stuff. So uh, I've got a glue gun here ready to go too as well. We can talk about the, the estimate, right? So let me go back to my phone here too. Let's see. So here's the... Uh, Here's the gray Volkswagen TIG one, okay? Now, I honestly did a quick estimate and it ended up sticking with it. I didn't do an r and I, So I did the Paul Corden. It came out to 1873 right there. And we can go over that right here, okay? So it is a, let me zoom in. Well, I can't zoom in. It's a 14 inch deep, 76 millimeter dent, high strength steel, glue pulling required body line contour so we didn't do any r and i so which we end up doing okay yes technically ladies and gentlemen this could have been a really really probably a three thousand dollar repair i'm thinking like 2800 somewhere on that there with all the more stuff the bracing behind it all that other stuff for some of you guys may think that's actually a really good price for this some of you may say yeah you did leave a lot of money on Table. We have some good friends in this industry. They're gonna text me probably after this. And but anyhow, regardless, come in here, guys. You guys don't out shop that. And then we're going to. Uh, well, Joe, what do you have to add to that? Okay, so, so uh, you know, you kind of already touched on that, Mike. About uh, you know, basically, uh, what I'm finding with this really thin gauge metal that we're working on now, more than ever. Uh, the tension pulls are the way to go because I'm able to, like you said, take the damage out in reverse order of almost of, of how it was put in. Now, I think I, I believe the customer said that somebody bumped into it, you know, and, uh, and it makes sense. I think their shoulder probably hit here. They must have been maybe on a skateboard or something. I've seen that. And, and it pushed the, this, the body line in. And then also, obviously, it's got some stress up all the way up in, into this contour and all the way down here, down to the, towards the edge. And, you know, in the old days, I used to push, like, attack the, the deepest part with a rod behind. And like I showed you earlier with my drill bit, we used to drill. That was the way we did things back then. And, and what, um, not only is it kind of, it's archaic and it's not the best thing for the car to drill, but also just that method of going behind there and pushing with a rod, you know, I would I would get this 
relatively clean, you know, pretty straight. But the problem I always ran into was I still have this big wave and like a halo effect around the area that I had worked. And I, I couldn't figure out how to get that out cleanly. And it just would look kind of just not as good as it could be. So uh, going back to what you said, Mike, the tension pulls, you know, I think that's just taking us into the next level to where we can get these things pretty clean. Yeah. You know, this is pretty deep. And, you know, I don't know what you guys think, but I, I think that it's reasonable to, to think even at my best, it may have a little bit of distortion in this area here, uh, particularly because they're pretty deep. But we're going to see. We're always shooting for factory spec level, always uh, shooting for 100%. Uh, but, you know, within reason, when it's impact like this, it's, it's pretty tough to make perfect. But I think we can get it very close. And that's that's what we're going to go for here. Uh, and without, you know, we don't want to drill any holes, you know. So that's why we did take the glass out. Uh, so. To start with, I, I believe it'll be a good candidate for the tension pull perpendicular simultaneously getting a lateral pull, as you'll see uh, in this area and one in here. We have enough, a couple different devices uh, from Keiko uh, to help us with that. Also, uh, uh, some makeshift carpenter uh, uh, clamps that instead of clamping down, we, we designed or we re engineered them to go backwards like that yeah so uh we'll be able to uh, do that lateral tension on the side of the panel uh, up here and here if, if we can get the boot tabs to line up and then uh perpendicular pull from here and here and that's my my feeling on this and while we have that tension on there uh like brandon you mentioned earlier addressing these crowns here and i think there's, there's a pretty good one here and whatever else we see in the light and we'll show you guys the, the reflection in just a minute and, and with the marker, we'll show you exactly the area we're going to be working. Okay. So I'm. We want to prep the panel right now. Yeah. Brandon, do you have anything to add? Brandon. Oh, I think Joe covered it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's. I've got to go grab my lateral, right? And so we're going to put some tabs here. If you want to put there's some tabs there, get those yeah. ready to go. Uh, Joe, did you grab yours? What's that? Yeah, I got my stuff right here. Um, Mike, did you want to show them? The reflection, and I mean, they're going to see it at some point, but yeah. where we can mark, make the marks. In fact, I'll just do that real quick in my life. I'll set the camera right here. Meanwhile, this is uh, in case you guys are well, right over here. In case uh, you guys are wondering what we're talking about, lateral tension. It's it's uh, this thing here from from Pico. All right, so we, we hook up the uh, put it on this side right here. And then there's some tabs that will connect to here, and it's going to spread the panel outward like this, lateral. Okay. And then you hook up your your little uh, driver right here, and it's going to spread this up quick. If you try to do it by hand, uh, you, you're gonna have very slow results unless you're right at that tension. Then you want to take that, and you can hand tighten it if you like. So it has worked really well uh, for most of the dents that I've done. Uh, some dents are going to be more locked up than others. Okay. So, okay. So you got John on the other side. That's why there's some pounding there. So we are a working shop, and we are fixing dents. So John, you're pretty much the last one, right? It's the last dent. John's like. <laughs> Anyhow. I'm you know. working here. He's, He's working. <laughs> I'm making money. <laughs> so, obviously, let me get the uh, the pad as well. Joe's drawing and he's playing. He's having kindergarten day today. Yeah. He's putting put a job. He's a big player. I'm a son. Is this one where you hit the red with him? Joe, it's on. It's on the right there. That one right there. Joe's got his on. Actually, which one? You want to use yours too as well, Joe? You want to use it? Uh, that little blue gun I was telling Brandon earlier it doesn't it doesn't squirt out a lot of glue. It's great for him. Micro pulls, not so much on loading up a big tab, just to warn you. But okay. I use yeah, that's why I use that collision yeah. right there, that, that silver one right there. So this this gun, by the way, if you don't own one of these guns, I personally think this is one of the best glue guns on the market right here. Um, there are other glue guns there. I think the other one I like as well, just as much as well, two of them is uh, the Elimidant one, which Elimidant is actually a partial maker of this one 
Uh, and the other one is the Stucky gun too. So very reliable, but this one has such an awesome nozzle. I can get that without my face. It wants to you see how thin, it's how small that nozzle is. It, it's just great for applying glue to the smallest, tiniest tab and it doesn't drip. Now, if your glue drips, keep in mind that you will have to probably turn it down to an eco mode. Most of the glue guns have a, you know, a high and low temperature. If you want to save battery, this works really good too, but I always leave it on high and last on a five amp battery. It probably lasts me about close to five hours. Okay. So start loading up if you want. These are some of the tabs that we use from Kiko. Yeah. And what it does is you hook this here, right? And it's going to spread. It's going to push this way, right? Against the, the, the metal. This will, this will glue to the, to the panel and it'll pull it this way as that tension pushes it like that. Okay. So it spreads the dent and sometimes it will actually release the dent uh, from that, uh, that pressure. Okay. So that's, that's the whole point of this. Anyhow, um, I'll try to answer some questions while we got some going. What's up, Danny? Andy Patrick, how you doing, dude? And he says, Joe, so they Danny? like you, man. They love you, dude. Love they, you they, they love you, man. We appreciate you guys. Thank you for joining us. Marcus, what's yeah, going thanks. on, dog? Marcus, I know a guy that will do that 80 bucks. <laughs> I, bet you, I bet you do, Chris. I bet you do. I bet you do. Uh, I'm like, what's the name of that first tool you showed? Um, I'm, you'll probably, this one right here, this is the, you, I think this is the first tool I do show, right? Yeah. This is the um, lateral tension rod from Kiko. So you can go to kikotabs.com. You can get this there. Um, it comes with another tab too as well. Yeah, a system like this. Joe, are we ready to? Oh, you want to show them the, show them the uh, okay. view, point of view from yeah. the estimate standpoint? So, try to keep it brief. That way, uh, uh, let, me get, let, me, let me get off here. Right? And we'll show up have enough slack here. Let me guide you. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right. The truth, right? Yes, the truth. How's it looking? Yeah, you guys can see that. Okay. I will. I will darken that up a little bit. Okay. So we're going to take off those pink, uh, the, the marker off of there once we start the repair. Um, but I wanted to point out, you know, our, our biggest uh, concern here is those two pink areas right above and below the body line. Obviously, uh, if you were able to get a side view, you can see that body line actually dips in a little bit. Uh, and we estimate these things. We basically mark it all the way around. We'll put that light way back so that it shows us. Yeah, I can put it back. And put it back towards the back. Put it back towards the back. Right there. Yeah. So that's, that's showing it. Okay. So, I mean, you can see it. The, the, that's why I put the marker there to kind of outline exactly what we're going to fix it. So, uh, it goes all the way up into here. A bit of a crease. A little bit deep on that body line. Actually, uh, pretty deep. Um, and then there's... A, the bulk of that dent comes all the way down in here, up to the edge, where you'll see a crown, what we call a crown. You want me to load yeah, no, it? I got, I got it. Yeah. Okay. So we, we, this is one of the things we'll be addressing when we have that tension on there. Excuse my gloves here. Um, and then we, uh, we're we going to knock that down while there's tension up in here. Now, Brandon brought up a good point uh, about possibly putting a tension pool here, too. And that's a possibility, I think, with your uh, perfect pool uh, tower. If we can get a third... Now, a tab right here to simultaneously pull, that would be great. That's right. I but, about us that one. But, but I don't know if it's totally necessary because of two reasons. I think, this is just a theory, guys, but I think that when we have enough pressure up here, both perpendicular and laterally, I think this whole panel is going to want to come out a bit. And when we knock, simultaneously knock down this crown here, uh, the body line is going to want to have a tendency to want to uh, come back to yeah. steel it's steel so uh so it you know it does have that memory to it so i'm sure there's some people out there wondering why would we call you i personally haven't had the greatest of luck with cold glue because i feel like it, it kind of can trap pressure yeah. um in in certain places uh, i think you've experienced that too much yeah. i'm not saying it's it's not a useful tool it has its place but 
In a case like this, camera one, I definitely feel like uh, we should take advantage of the opportunity, the luxury, to be able to pull in multiple ways and work around simultaneously. Wow. So, perfect. I'm, I'm trying, we're, we're going to set up a perfect poll, ladies and gentlemen, too, as well. So, I forgot about that. I should have set that up before that, but it's okay. So, we, we yeah, you can see how it's, we'll, we'll stand yeah. big John right here. And You're going to see how it's really set. Yeah, yeah, big John. Oh, there you go. <laughs> we could just hold the, the <laughs> Yeah, big John. Uh, sorry, guys. We are just, oops. Did I mess up? Yeah, I'm messing my own camera up here. Uh, <laughs> there's live right there. All right. So let's, let's set up the, I'll set this up. You better wipe the blue. We'll wipe down the top. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, lastly, one last thing I didn't uh, mention is that there is this damage actually caused a shock wave all the way to here. And so I think when we work all this, I think this is going to dissipate a little bit. But, uh, you know, it's something that it looks yeah, you, can right see, you, can, you can definitely see that. Maybe I'm too dark on that. Now, our monitor looks lighter than you guys, what you guys see, because I'm looking through an internet as well. But I have to, if you see me playing with the camera a lot, it's because the uh the stream yard is actually downgrading the uh the picture quality to be honest with you so that's what i've i've learned that it does so anyway let me get the perfect pull so switch this over here i'll show you what i mean we're gonna follow these uh, one now, some of you guys, well, why are you using a perfect pole? Do you have anything else? I do have a cam auto system, but it's on this type of floor. You're not going to be able to use that. Um, there's another, you could probably, I, I'm going to probably get some eye bolts and put them in against that concrete wall and, and start doing it that way. We've got uh, David White on here, uh, and he had a great idea. I saw on uh, Kevin McBride's Facebook group, the... Uh, Blue, blue towers, I believe it is. Blue power. Oh, blue bowling. That, yeah. And uh, David White has a video that he put up on there, you guys, where uh, See if he's David, there. you explained uh, your method of mounting a, a rack from like Home Depot uh, against a, a block wall. And I mean, he has full adjustment on that thing, and it looked great. So uh, that's another idea. So we'll check that out. Cool. Um, I find, sorry guys, I meant to put your comments on here, but we're doing this. As you can see that I've got the perfect pole here and I'm going to, um, we may have to run over that. What, how, how close to it? What I want to do is get a perpendicular to this spot. I think we can run, I think we can run this over here. Uh, I'm going to put that in uh, so this is going to be a long repair, ladies and gentlemen. This is not going to be a long repair. We'll save that 70 for the next So let me, excuse me a second, Joe. I'm actually going to need that head. I'm going to slide this across. Yeah. And can you move that one? Yeah. One, please. Yeah. This is a very good setup. Once it's set up, it's going to be a shot.
is, and you guys can see that this thing will have it. It's going to run over and have a little bit of uh, some, some ramps. Joe, I mean, uh, Brendan, if you don't mind, Brendan is uh, backing the car up about a foot, and then I'm adding a head for it. So now we got it pretty stable. I'm actually going to tie this down. And now I'm perpendicular to the to the uh, to the dent. I'll, I'll show you guys on this shot like this. Okay. So we're going to put the straps on the other side, and we're going to tension pull this way. Okay. Why we lateral pull that way? So that's what we're doing. We're setting up. I'm gonna actually gonna tighten those those down. Block that way. I told you it's gonna be a longer repair. Probably wondering. This is a a podcast that we like to. Um, this is a different podcast we like to do. Which glue are you currently using for these long setups? Uh, Jared, I'm. We're using at this. Point we're using uh, Anson's collision glue for this one. Okay, I know there's everyone has their their opinion about glues and you know what types of this and that. I th it's just preference, guys, and and your environment. I'm going to tell you that right now. I, we are in a really good environment here, so I'm sorry, I'm going to fix that camera here. We're in a really good environment, so the glue in this situation here. What do I do? I must have hit time. All right. There. Can I hit something here? I doesn't want to focus, you guys. Let me switch up. The glue doesn't always want to work in, in that situation. You know what I mean? So it depends on your guys' preference. They can hear you guys. I know. I know, I know. Okay, we're back on that one. Right. Joe, what are you thinking there? Because you're you're gonna lateral pull that way, uh, above it's up, above the the den above and one below, right? Yep, yeah, one above, one below. So uh, over there, Joe. No, uh, John, can you get him more sticks? I'll read your comments in a second, guys. I'm just, uh, what the heck was I going to get? <laughs> I don't know what I was going to get. Uh, Stick flip. Now I'm going to get inside. Oh. I'm going to hold that down. That's what we're going to do. Safety first. Safety first. With, with this stuff, with PRs, and I, I can't say it enough. If you guys don't take your time in the beginning, like what we're doing, this is this is why PDR it's not a wham bam thing, man type of repair. If you don't take your time in the beginning, like what we're doing, to try to set it up as best we can and get the best results we can in the beginning, we're going to spend three times more more time in the end on the prevention. 
that we could have done it again. So that's, that's all I'm trying to say. And usually I have this whole setup just put away and it, it's already put together. I don't always break it down. Like after I get done with this, I'm not going to tear it down. Again. I'm going to go set it in the corner where I normally do it. Where's the other pole there? I'm missing a washer. It's right by your hand. Joe, how many miles did you, did you drive for? Uh, well, how far are you from me now? It's uh, an hour, hour and a half. North, northwest of here. Okay, I'll give you guys an empire. Uh, yeah, Joe came all the way down here. Glad to be here, today. This is our second main live repair we've done, right? I mean, we, had, we did the other one with the Porsche, right? That wasn't easy. Nothing's <laughs> easy. That one left its mark on me. Nothing's challenging. That's okay. I said, Joe, come on, man. It's not going to be that bad. <laughs> I did it. I got oh, Brandon, you said, Brandon? I said, come on, Brandon. <laughs> the fly through this net, man. You're like, you saw that first video, right? Nah, come on over. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, maybe I'm going to get somebody else. Okay, so now the cool thing about this 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 perfect pull too as well is that I have you I got you can pull this way if you want to this way if you want to There's a lot of features to this thing too, so if you have a shop and you don't have any type of setup, it has worked tremendously for me multiple different times so thank you mark so i'll have joe and they'll set that up the way they want i've got my other uh, tension puller here yeah, yeah we already we'll have definitely use that one i've got one over here uh that's all thread uh, kiko and then i've got a little wood clamp nice butt dude I'm like, I think you're not talking about me. I'm like, I'm it's gotta be Joe. I'm like, me and you, we got that same problem. <laughs> dude, I make the walls jealous, dude. We uh, we, we gotta put extra pads on our chairs, so. All right, I'll read some comments here, guys. Uh, let's see here. How do you get behind a dent with double wall like the old Audi Fender? Um, Gloopal, right? that's the only thing I can think about is doing, or using a very thin tool. Glue is going to probably be your first option for sure. I wish I could read that, but I don't. Uh, where do I get your shirt, Mike? Love the content. Oh, cool. I, I actually got this from, um, from, I got this from Sal. He used to be with, you know, he used to own Dent Gear and he was at Mobile Tech RX, I mean, Mobile Tech, Mobile Tech Expo, which is going to be in January. So I hope you guys can make it there. Speaking of expos and stuff like that, Anson's having, go to AnsonPDR.com. They're actually having a uh, PDR tool. What is that? It's not an Olympics, it's tri Dent Trials. That's what it is. Uh, maybe Vince will chime in here. Maybe he's here. Somebody can put the date. I just don't have the date in my head. I know it's mid-September, late September, somewhere around there. So go check that out. But unfortunately, I don't know where you can get these shirts. I don't think they're selling them right now to answer your question. So. Who bring the food and drinks, Hugo says. Oh, uh, we got some, well, we got some stuff later, so, yeah. What's up, fellas? What's up? Ryan, how you doing, man? I'm like, what's the name of the first tour? I already said that. Okay, cool. So, Andy Patrick. What's up, Andy? Hope everything's going well. Look, hey, good luck at your toy drive, too, too. So, we'll be donating some toys to you, man, so this year again. Uh, what did the estimate come up as again? Uh, it was $2,800 before the um before the tax r and i wasn't in, really included don't well it uh, don't get me started on that but yeah we we i underbid it on that like i said i was saying in another live video too i think it joe it takes 
for a veteran tech like you and me who's been doing it for so long, and I give us excuses or anything like that, but I am. Two years, it's going to take you to really get comfortable giving high price estimates, I feel like it, because half of it's mind control. Like, oh man, am I really, is that too high? That's was not gonna friggin', we've talked about this a lot, right? Yeah, we have. Then I think it takes you almost a year to really understand how to use the, the, the app or the, the, the price guide system that you're used to to get comfortable with charging that, that much. I'm not saying, I'm not giving you an excuse either like that, but I'm gonna say, I feel like there's a learning curve all the way through around that. Okay. So, and to be quite honest, I'm still learning to be super comfortable with giving these high ticket prices. If I didn't, if I wasn't honest with you, then, uh, then this wouldn't be a real deal podcast or live demo. Da -da -da. Let me see here. New comments here. Okay. What's up, Mr. Facebook user? Julio. Hola, Mexico from Mexico. Okay. So are we good? Almost ready? Yeah, yeah. We were going to use the uh, carpentry. Uh, let's see what I, I just picked that up. Let's go. go uh, let's take a look at what you got, dude. I'm going to move the camera angle, guys. So don't worry. We're going to get some side preference views. So once this starts, we get this fully set up and ready to pull. We're going to hopefully see some, some movement on this thing. Boy, it's hot in here, dude. Should I turn that fan on now, dude? Hopefully, this ain't gonna be too loud, fan. But it is hot inside here. Stop. That should be good. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'll be more than happy to ask you. This is Shane, Mr. Rosas. I don't know why it's least fa says Facebook user. I think other people, I don't know why it says that. I forgot why it says that, but other people will chime in to tell you why. Shane. Good to see you, dude. Shouldn't you be working, dog? Shouldn't you be working, man? I, I Don't forget to call back those customers I referred to you. I'm serious. I gave you one yesterday, and they're still waiting for you. Don't forget. <laughs> Dude, Shane's like my 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 son, dude. Like, yeah, my, my older son, third, dude. Third generation. Don't forget, guy. Shane. He says, "I am." Okay. I am your father. Um, you know, you had mentioned Mike about the newer blood, new technicians having a problem or having have finding it a challenge to you know quote accordingly to the damage, like with the price guy. Uh, or what a lot of people may think is a high price, but I, mean, I feel like they probably have an advantage. Over no, I didn't say new. I meant older. Oh, older techs. Okay. 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 I think older techs or far like, and I'm sure you like, you agree have a harder time. Yes, adjusting to this the right way. To well, to, yeah, to, to give a price. Yeah, because I mean, for so many years, even our perception of the value of PDR was much lower than it is now, and. You know, that since has changed, since we've gotten smarter about realizing we are reversing the damage. Yeah. We are leaving the, the, the car as it was before before it ever got down to pre loss condition. Yeah, 100%, right? So, uh, and then on top of that, the amount of innovations that we're using now to do cleaner repairs, it's worth more. Yeah. Uh, but keep in mind, guys, those all this technology, all this new innovation that's available to us. That happened, in my opinion, as a result of guys like Paul Porton who were charging accordingly. That's because right. as as our industry was able to to grow their revenue per repair, so too did their techniques and the amount of time allocated on the repair. So this is a result of that. That's one hundred percent. I I and we're we're getting the, we're still the infancy. You know, it's crazy like how far we're going yeah. and further we're, we're we're hybrid in ourselves into we were kidding back in the day when we used to do like dents that were let me switch back is when we when we thought we were doing big dents when it was that big and we'd call it paintless collision repair we are joking around now it is yeah it really is yeah because 
no tech was going to do this except maybe one or a couple okay bryce and a few others but five years ago nobody would touch this on a regular basis okay on a regular basis i'm talking 10 years ago forget about it okay it was body shot body shot and our specialty was just door dinks and again we're not going to get it all into this but that's why we always said we had that term at least the veteran techs who are doing it 15, 20, 25, 30 years, two, three decades, have always been advertising, well, we're cheaper than a body shop. And so that kind of got us in trouble. And, our, and it kind of got our thinking, you know, unfortunately going the wrong way. So. But now we're going the right way. Okay. And this customer is going to be happy. You know, this is not an easy repair. Are we good? What are we doing now? Oh, you want straps? Do you have some? We're ready. We're ready to start. Uh, yeah. Patching the centipedes. Okay. Oh, you got some straps? So, uh, yeah, there's a couple straps. So there's one more? strap there, and then uh, yeah, let's get more. Because I mean, shoot, if we could do three, one down here too, that would be awesome, right? Oh, so sure. you can have your straps back, dude. You can come back and get your straps. Oh, yeah, they're officially yours, dude. <laughs> you you want to see these? Um, okay. I'm going to move the camera angle, guys, so you guys can see what we're doing more. Okay, let's 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 give you that one. So we're gonna strap from this perfect pole, right? The pole while we lateral. That should give us a good look, right? I'll check out your comments again. Greetings from Italy. Okay, I I love Italy. See, is it Simo or Simo? I'm sorry, I might be butchering up your name, but thanks for joining us. I appreciate you checking it out. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I'm getting ready. Great. Right. So again, if you just join us, you've never seen this type of system. This is Pico. Oh, yours is all nice, huh? I'm all black, huh? This is the first time I'm using it. Me, I, uh, I have, I'm still in Brendan. I have, every time I'm about to use it, uh, it's, you know, running short on time. So oh, I so you never get to follow through and use it. Okay. okay. Well, so we're, it's a maiden voyage. I know. I think I convinced him to use it on this one because every time that I, I use uh, the other style plant, I would slip off. You can. That's yeah. what I noticed. I put the, the rag yeah. on it. Yeah. So, yeah. It can. Um, you know, it's going to watch it. But I think it's really a good choice. Yeah. Because yeah. that does lock in the place real nice. All right. First thing. Done? This is like. Yeah, go on. Come on through. Solid. You can come through. Right here, John. You can come right here. Just don't trip over the wires. Like, but you told me no. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Now, you guys, I do. I'm the only thing I'm concerned with is how long the glue's staying on, dude. So I, I think, did we heat up the panel? Um, we can. Uh, we can. We can heat up. It. Well, we're gonna see what happens now because it might come off, dude. You know what I mean? I'm trying to figure out what cap to use. You got any suggestions? We got some small stuff. Um, you know, I think oh. it may come down to these small Keiko uh, centipedes because they do flex. I do like the flex. And go along the edge of that body line. I like that one better. Uh, I, I, Brandon, and I, yeah. Brandon and I were talking about. Uh, you could, but what happens is that you might not grab as close. You might not grab as close. Let me, I'll focus it for you. Okay. Oh, I'm right is it? Yeah. Oh. So is this on? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Come up a little bit higher. No, it's not on it's, it's not on this one. Sorry, it's this one. It's on Yeah. I'll switch. Okay, so we're looking at uh, 
our tab selection to get into that those deep bits at the bottom of it to bring out the bottom of yeah. it uh, and we can't like even something as small as this because it doesn't flex it'll yeah. leave a gap it almost right? has to be like a um, a reaper tab or something that small and well, I'm I mean, we may yeah, result that's, not that. gonna pull, that's not going to slow pull it, dude. Yeah. Well, you, what you can do, though, is you can take a heat gun and you can soften the soft one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Why don't we do that when we try that? Because that's right. going to give us a, a wider footprint than that. That or um, there's some of those black Atlas tabs that have that curve on it already. Okay. Oh, yeah. And those ones have the fast stem on it. We may be able to do a slow pull with those, too. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Yeah. The smaller football one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think I do have some Alice. I have a hot chip. Oh, I got all I have is that. I think you do. I think you do. I think you But the only thing with those tabs, I'm not sure if they if they can hold a long pull. Yeah. We're gonna be putting some really good. That's gonna have to really hold. Good job. I'll move this. I'll move this out a little bit. Sure. Probably a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
there. Did you already contour it? You bend it? Yeah, but it's not really. It's uh, not going to do it, huh? Yeah. And the benefit of the, uh, I think the benefit of the uh, camera autos is if we can clear the the off-grid uh, devices here, the, the lateral tension beams. The collision glue is on that, right? Looks like it to me. Yes. Whatever the clear stuff you have there. Yeah. You done? No. Oh no, no, Mary has the uh, the original estimate. Uh, have her look for it. So this whole number. It's David. It's uh, it's written down on the desk. You'll see it. Mary has the original estimate. She put it away. I don't know where it's at, but look for his name, please. Sorry guys, we are still we are still having customers here too as well. We're still running the business. Mary's up front uh, doing the office part, and then uh, I am uh, obviously we're doing a podcast slash live repair with Joe Dent Elo and Brandon. So, what do you think, Joe? Uh, I'm still in my uh, selection mode here. You're in your selection mode? Yeah, come check this out. Mike. Okay. So here's going to be the challenge, is getting the two tabs and pulling the side of the beams. So if we use the Mako tabs, it'll hold, okay? But then we got this, it's going to be kind of in the way of the other kind of pull. We might, we might be forced to just do one perpendicular pull at time, which, you know, hey, it's better than nothing. So I was hoping that we could get two pull. I was trying to get two pull. So, with the cam auto ones, there's a little more clarity. I think the cam auto would be better. Uh, I'd rather have more surface area for it than not enough. Because we're going to be really tension so We're going to need as much as we can. And once we get the bulk of that, the shape of the panel back and the, some of the fits out and the deep ones, we can uh, go to slide and See, that's what you can So if you guys are looking at this, you can see how flush that this is the pull right here and the hook and it flushes right in there and you can probably well you you definitely don't want to be putting this part in here and then pulling because it's not going to pull that so you want it's, unfortunately the anchor is going to be right where that's at so there's a micro gap but I don't think it's going to matter, honestly, because of uh, how much glue we're going to put on there. So that it might bridge the gap. You know what I mean? The glue. It we don't, have, enough, we don't necessarily have to have it like pinned down to the panel. I think if there's some gap with the glue, we'll pick up the glue. Let, let's go yeah. with that. Let's go with that, dude. Okay. So uh, this one on the bottom. And, uh, but let's heat. Like, we'll 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 prep that panel one more time, and then we'll flash it, Brandon, and then. And then we'll put put the tab on there because we really want it to bond. Dude. Flash it actually. Well, actually, we got the heat gun right there, so we'll heat it up. Joe, you like to heat the, the panel up, don't you? I do. I do. Yeah. I, I don't use heat nearly as much as I used to, though, thanks to the tension pulls. Okay, so I'll go through some comments here. So, oh, sorry. Let me go, Hugo. When you start lateral pulling, will it not cause highs on the tabs? N no, I've never seen it cause highs on the tabs. Joe, you haven't done you well you, the lateral tension system you use. How, does it use does it create highs where the tabs are at? Uh, generally, no, uh, because I feel like mostly I'm putting the tabs into the lowest part of the dent, kind of like in this. But I, I suppose if you were to put it on a flat part of the panel. Uh, or the dent was kind of shallow, it, it could. Cause yeah, it could. Ice. Yeah, yeah. Good question, though. Yeah. What's up, Darren from the UK? Uh, hi from South Africa. What's going on, Dent Shift D? Yeah, we got people all around the world. DIY Tech Bro. What's going on, Mr. DI Tech Bro from Romania? Thank you for joining us. Christian. 
So glad to see I'm not the only one that takes a lot of time to set up. Thanks for this. Yeah, you're welcome, Frank. <laughs> Audio's coming in fine, ladies and gentlemen. Everything's good. Barry says, Joe, do you know Barry, Joe? Oh, yeah, Barry. Joe, put the cam auto tab on vertically with no glue on the body line so it's so itself. Just glue in the paddles above and below the body line. Okay, let me, uh, let me see if I know what you're Okay, uh, hold that. Area. Hold that thought. That's okay. So we're, we are heating up the, the tab too. Uh, okay, let me go. So this. Okay, to make it a little more flexible. Okay. Uh, so Barry, uh, you you mentioned vertical. Oh, I see what he like, means. Like that. Um, what? We're, we're trying to get a sign of two pulls at once, and, and Barry, if you can uh, you can uh, give us your opinion on what you think of that about us doing two pulls simultaneously. And my theory, you see that on the camera? Yeah. Okay. Uh, is if we get a this little centipede tab up on the top and then get this cam out over here, then we would have the clearance to pull both at the same time, theoretically. Uh, vertically, I suppose we can we can take off the three little uh, pieces here you might have we cannibalize or I don't I cannibalize. don't mind at all dude okay. what's up Kevin bird what's the word bird bird man he knows he yeah. knows you know you know let's see what Barry has to say um, about that. Been, I'm sure he's typing because uh, it takes yeah. a minute because they're, they're on a delay too That's as right. well so Yeah. Barry is, is a very good guy, man. Dent remover, good. We got a lot of YouTube people here. Never mind, John. I don't know. <laughs> MacGyver's over here. Got it. Hey, well, leave him here. He's on the clock. No, we're good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us here. We are doing a repair. You out of here, John? Oh, can you go? You can walk through. Hey, John. He's his own. So in case you're just joining us, we're going to do a double lateral tension pull and a double, what do you call that pull? I always have a freaking lateral. No, the other one. Now the, uh, this thing. You had to work with it. You had to, oh, okay. Uh, constant tension. Constant tension. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to use this one. This is one of Joe's new purchases from Cam Auto. Where's, where's mine, Cam Auto? I want one of these. I saw it. So, what's the purpose of this thing, dude? Is it, this is like a shock thing. It's just kind of. Uh, it's it's hold constant tension on the on your uh, tab so that you don't have to keep readjusting the strap. So we only have one. So one of those tabs is going to stay constantly tense or tight it while look, we it, not be down. The front. It looks like a shock, dude. That's basically what it is, huh? Right. Yeah, 
I wonder how he comes up with this stuff, right? Like, who, who came up with this? Yeah, that was Michael Brady from uh, New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey. He's got a Facebook group as well. I was just up there. Oh, uh, constant tension. I'm oh, sorry. Group. Constant tension? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, can, I gotta get on some of these groups. Yeah. Yes, you yeah. do. Actually, we gotta get him on the show. Yeah. And well, you, you actually introduced me to his uh, concepts on one of the podcasts. Really? For, uh, I saw him using the, uh, that car picture. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Also, we're going to have to have two impact guns, or not, uh, drivers. I've got one. i got two, actually. i got two of those. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting close to polling. Time, time for some action. All right, see if uh, Barry chimed in. No, he, he, he said, oh, there he is. Hold on, he came in. Use a tab with that has the hook in the middle and pull areas at each end. What do you mean by that? I'm trying to picture that, what he's saying. Use a tab. Um, Use a tab that has the hook in the middle, which we're using, right? And pull areas at each end. Is he talking about pull from the outside? I, I think so. I think so. Well, are we on the right track, Barry, with what we got? <laughs> Barry, Barry is actually. He does uh, think way out of the box, too. He's his, the his, first person I ever heard uh, talking about like four dimensions of PDR, uh, like going not just. That's what he was saying. Not just pulling, pulling yeah. pushing, but also stretching, stretching. out. He's the first person I ever heard. Okay. I'm going to have to say that. Who's calling it now? Can you set the wrinkles down? Sure. Can you set Would you mind going the right the other way? So I can put it from here? Yeah. Because your light is really good. Yeah, you want me to bring it up? Brandon, can we move this right here? So we can put the light up. And then I'm going to give you guys a third eye view from here, and then we're going to. Get the straps going. We did. We have left this blue on a long time. I'm just I'm concerned with the lateral pull too. Okay. So, but you guys got you guys got some generous blue here. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. Yeah, because I've had my PC pulled even. And then I've just never you know, waited that long. That's all. You taking these to the impact? Not by him? No. Yeah. And you'll be there for a day. And the only time I've started going is you using manually when I'm close. Uh, yeah. yeah. When I'm close, then I'm just. So, and one of their little, you can use one of the Kiko things that are on the Kiko KB or KBO. Oh, yeah. So. All right, I'm going to give you guys a different point of view here. Should see some movement this way if we, if we 
go that way. Yeah, yeah I think we're, I think we're, we're strapped up, dude. What do you think? Let's do it. Watch the uh, cord right here. <laughs> I will watch myself because it kind of blends into the floor. All right. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'll get some comments here. Great tool, constant tension tool. Yeah, it is a good one, man. Ready for some action? Nathan Murdoch. Yeah, what's going on, Nathan? Okay, Mary's going to take care of him, right? He's all, she's all set. Yeah. Okay. Well, if anything, I get it. I'll cut it. I'll These guys will handle it. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. Where's your school? It's in uh, North County, San Diego. Just 30 minutes north of San Diego, in California. Photo on. Good job. Well, we appreciate that, guys. All right. So... I got a little bit of picture in picture so you can see some action. I'm just going to keep the camera on the main part of the repair. I know a lot of you want to see like how this moves. We're and we're not 100% sure if this is going to work. So we are, but we we do know it 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 should work. It should improve it. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. What you want? You want this? Yep. I just wanted to say, um, as Brandon and I are attaching the constant tension device, yeah. and it comes with a safety chain, we're going to glue this tab on that it connects to, and I made the mistake of putting it right where I need to work, and so when I start getting my crowns, one second, guys. Go ahead. So when I start tapping my crown, I want to make sure the chain's out of the way, because I I've done that. And what's, what's the point of the chain, Joe? It's a safety chain. It's just in case. Yep. Keeps that uh, device from going flying. You guys. So if the tab comes loose all quick, that's going to keep it from. Yes. Okay. Cool. Safety. And, uh, and then uh, also. Yeah, if let's, you know what? Sorry, guys. I didn't have the volume up here. So let me actually fix this volume for you guys, too. So sorry. I'm going to turn this down here a little bit, okay? I'm going to make sure we got our volume okay. Are you, is the audio okay? Can you guys hear us on the audio? Fine. Hopefully. You're good with the audio. Thanks, uh, Nathan. Appreciate that. I don't think I had it turned on initially, so uh, I'm surprised you guys hang in there. <laughs> didn't tell me the audio wasn't that good. So, anyways, I'm glad it's good. Okay. Glue the safety tab to the tape. Okay, so glue the safety tab to the tab of the tension back. So, also, what I like to do too sometimes, guys. Right. As anyone else, I'm always here. Do you want it higher? Do you want it to be here? I'll actually take a, a strong arm for height, and I'll. Hold it there too as well so it doesn't fly, but I don't think we're gonna have any problems with this. Working on that, yeah. So I think you're on the right track, I think that's good. Cool, we'll see that. Do we have a straight edge? Uh I got a ruler, math ruler. Yeah, we've got a lot. It's not really a 
Yeah, so we were wondering, should we do it here or up no, higher? Uh, I think it's more serious. Yeah, just go ahead and start sharing that. I'll go, yeah, you have to do good. I think you're good, right? Yeah. Cool. Because of the, uh, the clamp is steady for staking right there. We're going to move the light back in there, ladies and gentlemen. So once we get to where we want. That's the only one you have. Oh, yeah, you're off because you're going somewhere, right? Ooh, look at that. Going back to for what? Oh yeah, that's on this Thursday. Yeah. Fun, right? Yeah. This, can we yeah. put the light up to it now, Joe? Or do you mind? There you go. And raise that yeah. light up. Yeah. Yeah. A little, actually, a tiny. Look, yeah, you see it. Yeah, right there. Yeah. I just want to see the lines move and stuff that right. you guys are pulling, dude. Okay. I think we're just we're about ready, ready, dude. Ready. Huh? Hey, uh, you want to handle these, and then do you want me to do the laterals? What do you? Yeah. Ooh, that looks that looks intense, dude. Okay, so I've got two of them right. Brandon, I think you were on the right track. Pull it up high. Yeah. If we get a little yeah, higher, higher it's better. Yeah, I think just a little bit because I think uh, our clamp here is just a little bit off. Okay. Don't join the barn club again tonight. Today. You lift that thing up and then open it. That little tab right there is the clutch. There you go. Oh, see, I couldn't figure out how to get the thing to move, so I had to lift it right on the top. I was like, yeah, whatever. I forgot to open it. And it's that nice just sitting here spinning. <laughs> Like, then I come in, I'm like, oh, why isn't it loosening? I give up. <laughs> Barry is saying, saddle the tab over the body line and just use the glue in the dents. Yeah. Yeah, I get, we get it. We get what Barry was saying. Got it. Yeah. Thanks, thanks Frank. And thanks, Barry. Yeah. Thanks, Frank. This is looking pretty good, dude. Pretty tense, dude. Stabilization. I I, I've never used this. What'd you, what'd you do? Like, if you like, can I see the shot? Uh, you you, you, oh, your hip is in the way. Sorry, Joe. Okay, so if you can touch that, yeah. So he was putting that little tension screw there so that thing doesn't slide around when he's. It keeps this from sliding side to side. Yeah. I've yeah. had you know, issues with it falling right off and ruining my pool. So okay. Uh, I think we're ready to start pulling, you guys. Okay, I'm going to keep it here. And then uh, just look at your, cam the, your camera. What they're seeing right now is on the big screen. I'm going to okay. put a picture in picture here. Get so. Get out of the camera. And then, uh, so we're going to start doing, we're not trying to pull the whole thing out because we, but we want to create a, a, quite a bit of tension on it as much as we can go before the tabs come off. 
because then we want to knock down crowns. We've got the, the crown here and a crown down here. So let me grab my knockdowns before we put that pressure I want, on. I want to see. I got in picture picture. I, I, I know it's a little small, ladies and gentlemen, in the corner. But if you notice, we'll go from here. I'll do a picture picture. But we are looking. I, this thing is super interesting. I want to look at how that's But more importantly, we want to see the poll. I, I want to see how that works too. Sorry, I, yeah, I can make the picture and picture bigger, but I it I have to do a, go in and change some stuff. It's just not going to work real quick right now, so that's why I don't have it. Actually, let me change the shit. I put my logo right over there. Let me go here. <laughs> have it there. Uh, I better go back over there. No, let's go. Let's go here. No, let's go here. Here. Here? No, here. 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 No, here. Here. Yes, I was just trying to get to where I think I can not. Oh, are you going to start topping down? Well, not yet. What about a blending hammer? Do you want to do I want to be able to. Okay. Yeah, you good? I want to make sure that they can see when I start knocking down. Yeah. I just want to be ready once we have attention. Okay, oh, good. I mean, we're not going to get every freaking money shot possible, but we are, we're we're trying. Okay? This is not going to pop out. No, but this this uh, ain't going to pop out. No. Ready? Yeah. We still have the three quarter inch milk. You guys ready? Okay, you are ready. All right, I'm ready. Go ahead. See? Yeah. I would I would tension pull first, lateral pull first, right? Yep, it's already looking. It's already working, dude. Okay, let's try it. Let's gradual here. I'm going to do this one Okay. Now. The bottom one, right? You the bottom one. Yeah. Rod? Yeah. Where, 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 where? Oh, okay. shit. Hold on, guys. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Damn. What happened is we didn't run it over. I can counterweight it. Oh, we should have. Okay. But it's moving. moving. It's moving. Okay, let me stand on it. You want to stand on it, too? Watch. Strap watch. It back step, to the step over that, that wire, dude. You just strap it back to that. Hold on. Or we just lose. Yeah, what popped? I would, I would say it's probably the top, our top perpendicular. But let's just keep going. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. we are getting... There it goes. It's going. Okay, let's just keep it like that. I'm going to start knocking down some crowns. And if you'll assist me in holding that to perfect pool, Big John, I'm glad you're around. Me. Big John. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're wondering why John's helping, it's because we didn't run over the tire towards the, car. Towards, towards the, the, the ramp, and not enough. So, okay, so I've got a little leather coated knockdown. It's like a Kencraft H48 mushroom. I put the leather on there because the rubber was kind of scratching stuff. It got worn out, but uh, you know, I think they make better stuff than that. But leather already but uh do you want it do you, Need to watch that in slow instant replay. But look at that. Uh, look at what it's been. Yeah, let's do a little assessment here. Brought a lot of tension on. Let's 
still deep. Still deep. That's still deep, dude. Still deep, but it's deep. That is not that. It's not even close to out of the I mean, words. You know what? This one's still holding well. So if we wanted to reposition the upper one, that's why I put this just because I knew once it starts to flex right here, that's what I watch for. Okay. So now we in. can run this over a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. And then um, I think we can still get more out of this. Because I'd be honest with you, when, when we didn't have that set right, that, that would have pulled a, a lot more, a lot dude. More, yeah. yeah, we lost some more. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll uh, reset. We know what we need yeah, to do. Good. Good. Yeah, good thing you were eyeballing it, dude. Yeah. Because it looked, it was pulling it, and then I didn't see that. <laughs> I just saw the whole thing the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I made a second. Yeah. And then put the other half over here. So yeah. what you see, especially like, like that ramp, off of the ground already, the tire wasn't yeah. give me really good. wasn't on and, yeah, that ramp all the way, so we got to actually run it over so it pinch out on that, that perfect pole down, stable. Because as we were cranking, the perfect pole was sliding in, so that's that's why you didn't see such a more dramatic pole than we want as we wanted. Yeah, yeah. So we didn't. was what I was going to do originally when John was holding it. I came over here with that strap and I was going to strap it back to the pole. Version 2. Right? Put a slider here. Yeah. Put a slider here. We'll make this rotatable. So you can yeah. have the sliders on the side. Yeah. Take a point somewhere. So so you, you can have it like You've got a brace. 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 If you had a, it'd be cool if this had a bar that was like this. So you can pull off the. Of so you can roll it under the tire, but you can hook up your latch right here. Like it would, it basically had these slides. Yeah. On the side, or Sides. you could rotate it to where you could slide this in, right, and then put a hook right here. Pull off at the side, yeah. All right, guys. Um, so here's here here's our MacGyver time. Um. So we will. I mean, to get it straight in line, I think just 
anchoring it, anchoring it back. If those things had, if those had a pin or something that, because this slides in the channel of those ramps. So even if we get the car on the ramp, this is still going to slide in that channel. Even with the, even, oh, even oh, with the yeah. full weight of the car on there, that metal is going to, you know, the ramps are going to hold weird. it up. I, so I used it slide. before like that and it didn't move on. Man. So that's weird. Well, and then you remember I was saying earlier, I didn't know if we were going to have enough space. And it's like, because that, if this piece was just flat or you had this attachment that made that foot flat and it stuck all the way out and well, then you could just pull on it guess and what? have more length. Guess what? I got an idea, dude. Well, it's going to be kind of, well, I'd have to flip it around and then we'd go there. So. Um, so this, this ramp isn't making full contact with the floor. It's a gap. It's because it's lifted on the. You know why? It's, it's a little bit. Yeah, the, the it being down is making that. I'm just wondering if uh, you put under something underneath it. So bite. What about this? You know what I'm saying, Joe? Like if this piece was just longer, or you had a flat piece that made this foot that long, that you could just drive onto. Dilemmas. Why well, you jack the car up with easy pull pulled in the floor? That's exactly what I'm. Well, here's the thing then, because, well, if you if you jack the car up, then you're you're way off. You're way off on the uh, on the, on the angle, and now you're not pulling straight out. That's that's why that's our dilemma. We could think about using the. Uh, We could be using the, uh, the Kiko. What is that? Okay, uh, the KB. Oh, no. There is your. Uh, now let's just. Uh, yeah. But you have to trip like all these straps. Right? You know. Or the only thing is, is like we'll we'll back we'll turn this around, right? Use another car and run it over. Pull out one square. Yeah, three, I got to take all this thing down. down. So. What do you think, Joe? I'm trying to think of our alternatives here. We could push. I'm like, where's that drill that you had? We could just strap a tie down to Big John and just have him run. <laughs> <laughs> right at that point, you might as well just glue it, leave the door open a little bit, and then just. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll tell you what. We're gonna have to. I'm just. I'm just gonna turn this around, and I will. Uh, Pull my car forward right there, and that's how we'll pull. We'll okay, so and you're talking about putting the other car on top of the perfect pull, pull right here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that might be the so. We can do. So what we're doing, folks, is we're going to take this, take this off, flip it, run it over, run the uh, run, have weight just on this, not this. This will be off, and that that flat piece, and then it'll be stable, and then we can pull. So. There's, there's no other way to do it. Oh, sorry. Not here. Yeah, if you want to get that tension forward. Mm -hmm. So this is what we got left right there. Okay. Still, still got a lot. If you try to take a soft tip or something like that, you're just going to chew it up. You're going to create way more cleanup work at the end. And that's what you see here. Way. So we're only having issues with this sliding in. What if we just slide this out a little bit more? Oh, but then we're going to be on angle. I was going to say through the tires, so there's a tension of force. We're going to slide it more, but then we're going to be off. We're going to be off a little bit. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Some of you guys are saying, well, why don't you just push that? You can. We can. But you guys also don't realize there's a brace. Where is it at, Brandon? 
This crown right here is actually the brace. So there is a diagonal brace that goes right across here. And so this is just on, so this, how the crown is a little bit tighter on this side than it is on this side, it's because that is the edge of the brace. So it is open starting like right there, which is not bad access. It's just don't, you don't want to push something that sharp because well, one, you're going to create push marks. Two, yeah. what's the worst thing that will happen? You crack that paint? No, before that. Before, before we crack the paint? Uh, we're going to just push it out right now? Before we stretch it. Uh, yeah. You can oil can. So that's why it's important that we're not just aggressively going in there trying to push. We want to, we want to pull. Right? We want to bring that metal as much as the metal it allow us. But now we're, we're stuck in this dilemma here. So I am going to stop wasting my time. And what are you thinking, Joe? Here goes Joe. Uh, so, once again, if you, this might be a sacrifice to a pretty cool tool, cool looking tool. If we set this up, we back the car up, and we set this up so that. Mm. We'd actually have to move this out of the way temporarily, pull your car forward, get this, get the front wheel on the front of this beam, right? And that that's the front wheel is going to hold in you know, place. I, no, and I, I lock that. I think keep that from sliding. You know what? You've got a going to make it putting, lift. But then on the I, other tire, the tension yeah. from the tire is going to make the other side of the pole lift slightly. What about? Look, we got, why don't I just lift the car up and jack it back down on that little bit? Is it going to be able to, am I going to be able to put it? Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah. Yeah, what the hell? Let's just do that. Just jack up the car and put it under. Uh, <laughs> that guy engineering, you guys. Oh, yeah. oh the bears. So we always got we always got the best ones, dude. Yeah. So someone already did suggest this, but I I thought it wasn't gonna be where we want to need it. So we're gonna actually use this and I'm surprised Mark hasn't texted me yet, but I'm sure he has. But we're gonna put this, we're gonna jack this car up and we're gonna put it slide down. Is that gonna be fine on that axle cube? Will it be still fine, or do I need to put to go somewhere else? What do you, what do you think? Set up against the frame and have it slide so that it presses up against yeah. the inside of this right here. Yeah. No, I think it'll be fine right there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll uh, tape a rag or something to it, but yeah, no, I think that'll be fine. So what we're gonna do is we have to slide right back up, back that car up. I was that. <laughs> hey, this is real. It is real, dude. Okay, stop. Slow is fast. Yeah. Slow, Anybody? Yeah, that's slow is fast. Hey, everybody out there, slow is fast. Slow is fast. I'd rather be doing this thing playing clean as two hours anyway. So we fall fast. Okay. Uh, the, yeah, yeah. Hey. Howdy, guys. Howdy, guys. Yeah, yeah. I, I got it. I know. Is he here? Yeah, yeah. All right. Joe, you're going to have to take over for a second. Howdy. <laughs> So I thought he was talking about pressing this in the gear. So I thought we were going to use a ramp on it. And then this goes to the jack point here.
Hang on. Saga continues, right, Brandon? Yeah. That's the saga right there. All right. Thanks for being patient with us. Some of you guys are like, yeah, been there, done that. Uh, <laughs> some of you guys are probably being in, really more entertained than, than, than we wanted you to be. But oh, okay. at least one of you out there doing the same thing that we're doing right now. Never fails, dude. But that's just part of it. Me and Joe were kind of, Joe, this is Joe. Joe's like, I knew this was going to happen. Right? It's all good. If you expect it, then you're just like, it's okay. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, going back to one of the one of the comments was, you know, why don't you just push it? We can we, yeah, we we could just push it, but Sorry, like actually, I explained in the beginning. The, the, uh, hold on. Well, the reason why we didn't do that for it was my fault because I thought we weren't going to be on the jack point, and apparently it was it was close enough. We're still probably about three inches off from being completely perfect but yeah I use new advice tools and setup thanks for sharing it well Derek we are hopefully we want to show you exactly how they work right okay <laughs> Andy Patrick said y'all ain't done yet <laughs> what's up Chris Hughes break yourself fool all right, Jason, what's going on, Jason? Well, we're not it's not amazing yet, but we are working on it. So he's one of the great PDR teachers. Oh, must be talking about uh, Joe. You got it, Ross, Devin, Dents, man. Thank you very much, dog. Appreciate you. Okay, and see, Toledo ain't afraid. I don't have, I don't have uh, that much. Too much pride to tell you guys. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yes. So, anyways, this is part of the real deal. This is now you see what a repair like this actually involved. That was this is actually reason why we filmed this because not every dent is going to go smooth. Matter of fact, I don't know any dent that goes perfectly smooth every time. I'm talking complex repairs like these, um, especially when you you got to set up the the lateral pole and the tension pole. Some of you guys have vehicles where you'll have a T-cross and you can put that on the back of your truck. Joe, you have that set up? Uh, I don't have a T-cross, but I have to pull really cool from whatever part of my truck that or I tree. Uh, <laughs> or tree. Or tree. Our friend Bobby Z was showing me how he pulls from the uh, pillar from his van. Like, you know, when it's between the two doors. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so like you could pull like with these two doors open, you know, if you were pulling on another Shit. vehicle. Shit. Oh, dude, that's yeah. a good idea. But you put some rags around so you don't scratch his vehicle. I, I guess you did, yeah. But I mean... You know, when you're out in the field, man, whatever works. All right. Okay. 
So back to some of the tools we're using here. So let's get back to the action shots. So we got any action shots? I guess it's kind of out of way. It's a little bit jolly. Brandon is setting up our lateral uh, pull caps. He's spacing them apart a little bit further so we have more room to work the crowns around the end. And it might not look like it, but it's actually that what we did earlier did pull some of it. So that does that looks in, that looks out. interesting. Yeah. I was impressed with the, the hold it had. Okay, so what's that one on the bottom corner for, dude? The bottom right corner. Yeah, that is to hold the chain, the safety chain. Oh, uh, okay. Tension okay. Device. Dude, that good thing that chain's there, dude, because that uh, it did pop, dude. All right. So our problem was just not being able to anchor our our pull point. Dude, Joe, we got we got and, and Brandy, we got a tip, dude. What is it? Twenty bucks, dude. Jason, thanks, bro. Yeah, thank All you. right. Boom. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you, man. <laughs> Hold on. Don't be an Indian giver, though. Let us finish the deck, dude. All right? <laughs> How are you, Mike? Charlie, even watching you from months. Great teacher. Thanks, Robert. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Joshua Dragos is on, dude. I use my B pillar on my van every time. Stays buying big puller, dude. Way to go, dude. That is a that's a that's a freaking good idea, man. That's a good idea. Using a pillar like around your your like you said, like basically, basically. Come on over here, Joe. New, uh, new blood has, you know, whereas we're, uh, we got this old, dude, old wisdom. Look at that. I'm going to say uh, thanks, Jason. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. Da, da, da. And so this person says he uses his B pillar. I'm not, that's not, that's not B pillar. Yeah. That's not Bobby, though, right? Uh, blinded by the light. I don't know who, who now, is Bobby blinded usually by the shows light. up as Bobby. So doesn't he? Yeah. Maybe not. I don't know. So, but yeah, the B pillar, man. That's that's where that would work. We still got people hanging in here. The cool thing about this, though, Joe, is that they, they, they can go on to the next marathon video that we have here, right? And and you can fast forward it, right? And you can come to the parts. I'm sure as this video gets played over and over again, YouTube has this. I don't know if you saw, but all the juicy parts, and it shows like where all the people fast forward or they watch the most, and then chapters. those are the ones you're gonna see. Yeah, you could you could put chapters in this eventually. So I will. I don't know if I'll do that. To be honest, it's just such a big video. You guys can just sit through it. So, uh, anyways, it's a live video. So are we getting set up again? I'll let them. Oh, look at that. Ooh, look how sharp that is. Let's see here. So this won't be a podcast because it's just too much silent parts here and there, and then there's not enough action talking, but but this will stay up here on all the uh, – on YouTube it will. Scotland Dent Savior. Well, thanks, Scott. Yeah, Bobby Fisher does the same thing, dude. So that's good. Good. Listen to you guys while I get my butt kicked on a large dent, also. Yeah, Jared, come on. Go live, dude. Show your stuff, dude. <laughs> good luck on that, dude. I'll watch the Porsche Marathon tour. <laughs> well, thanks. 
this is the next Jerry Lewis freaking dent repair here, dude. Who's our next act? I know. <laughs> and our yeah, next act, <laughs> and the next segment. Round two are the Fring Girls. Yeah, they, hey, you're right, dude, because where's the Ring Girls? Oh, well, we could put Street Fighter in there, right? Round two, fight. Well, that's that. Uh, is that Mortal Kombat or? Not nah, Street Fighter. Yeah. Or no, 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 it's Mortal Kombat. Uh, and then you're right at the last part of the dance. He goes, your shit. Mortal Kombat, yeah. So the part I always say when you're, when you're, when my students are like, you know what's funny is like my students are they're concentrating, they're, they're almost getting the dent out, dude. They're just, they're just working it like this. And I just walk up to them and I'm like, like, okay, I go, like, there's now there's two things that are gonna happen right now. And then they're looking, they're they're concentrating. I go, it's either gonna get better or it's gonna get worse. And they just busted their concentration, right? <laughs> and they're like, damn, dude. And they and it's not not just for the students, but I know you guys who are trying to learn PDR and even as a veteran PDR tech, you're doing an intense repair and you're at that last five, ten percent and you're at that point where you're like, let me just get a little bit and it just goes south. You you tap down, you miss tap, and it's just it just you feel like you can never recover. So word of advice though, you can't recover. You just have to know to reset either low or reset high. And reset high means you make all the little lows super high. So nice, clean high, like as if you blue hold it, and that's not a bad idea either, is put a tab on your mess and let it just get all super tight and then tap down. And you may have to repeat that process. Or the other way where you are pushing, right? Or excuse me, tapping down all the lows into one clean, soft, shallow low, and then you can push it. Yeah, that is going to pull, dude. I, I, I think we're going to be good on this one, dude. Of course, I don't want to jinx us either. I think we're good, dude. I think, uh, and we got because our issue was not. I mean, you saw we had really good adhesion. And, uh, we had really good uh, pull on there. It's just that our our anchor was moving on us, that's all. You got to that thing. That's good. Oh, that's good. Stop with that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Holding a little bit of pressure on the, the centipede tab, the top one, mm -hmm. while it cools, like inside the contour of the deep dent. Yeah.
Go up a little bit. I should be. Right there. Yeah. La dee dee, da da da. Okay, so you're asked some questions here. What glue are you using? Well, we are using uh, Anson's uh, collision, collision glue, right? Tequila. I thought it was a, yeah, the, the tequila, and then I think I just finished that up. You want some more? What kind of glue? Well, do we have any more? I'll get some more. How's that root beer glue? Have you tried that one yet? Mm -hmm. The root beer, the Hanson? Yeah, yeah. I, I use root beer. I, I wouldn't use it right now for the collision, though. Yeah. We need to stick. I think we're almost, almost, almost out. This one, uh, it stopped it. It's, it killed. just wasn't feeding. It was yeah, it wasn't feeding. Did it kill the battery? Maybe. It's, it's still on. Then we need a new one. Yeah, I think so. Oh. I'm ready to pull, man. I think everyone else is ready. You love that port. Hey, uh, they said they love that Porsche repair, Joe. Uh, Miguel, how you doing, man? Oh, right, hold on. Let's see. If you're gonna pull, you guys need to step over just a little bit for me. Yeah, if I can put the light on. Got you. You didn't miss much, Miguel. <laughs> Not yet. We haven't really gotten into this dent yet. Get it done, Ryan.
we've set our paths dry. This is the long set collision mode. So. It is the long set, huh? Oh, yeah. So in case you guys are joining us, that's a that's a cam auto. What's that? What's what is that thing called? That one with the look like a shock? Constant tension tool. Constant tension tool. Constant tension tool. But what's the purpose of that? I guess it's to hold pressure. That one coming off too? Yeah. Did the glue? Let me ask you something. Was the was the glue gun dead? When no, it, it was the light was still on, but the battery was low. So, so that, I, I bet you that. So what happens? That me and Joe could probably already could figure out what happened. Is that when? It wasn't. Uh, exactly. So what happens? Your temperature drops. So does the pull power of your glue. It has to be at a high, high temperature when you place it. That pull. If it's placed when it has a lower temperature, it loses its pull power. Yeah. That's as well as I can explain it in a nutshell. Okay, I, I'm not a chemist, and I don't know why this and does that, but that is the reason why. If you notice, if you, you you turn on your glue gun and you place your glue too prematurely, and you force it to come out, and you don't wait for it to fully optimize to its full temperature, you'll notice that your pulls aren't as strong as it gets hotter, and as you go on to, and on and do more pulls, you'll feel that your pulls will get more aggressive. So that's because the temperature wasn't at its highest. So keep that in mind if you, when you are blue pulling, okay? Awesome, thank you. <laughs> I follow this from San Francisco Bay Area, nice setup. Thanks Vasquez. Yeah, we are, as long as the setup works, we're, we're, we'll be fine. So we, we're yet to get a good pull yet because we are just trying to simple life. But I have to say the dent is not as nice. Even yeah, even with our stumbles, we've already actually brought it brought up a lot of the, a lot of that meat. Let me take a look at that. Let me take a look at that, Joe. Let me see. Yeah. Ooh, um, yeah, you're right. You can act you know, it's a good sign when you can actually count how many lines from the center. But when, but when it's it looks like infinity inside there, like you like how many lines? One hundred thousand million four hundred. <laughs> all of them. All the lines. All the lines. <laughs> that's a dang. That's a nasty. Still nasty. Isn't it? It's already dropping temperature. Hopefully our lateral our laterals will hold up, right? No, they can. I can see it. Yeah, perfect. This might be a little dark for them, but hey, it is what it is. I, if I lighten it up, then you won't be able to see the dent. So, and that's just FYI. Uh, it, it's crispy, clear in my monitor, but not at StreamYard because they compress the video, so you lose the detail. So that's why. These video, the, the cameras are 4K cameras, by the way, but they, again, it broadcast in 1080p, then compressed again in 1080p. So that's why it's it's not as clear as it is on my end. So I'm trying to get you the best overall shots. Yeah, it comes out nice and smooth, right? Opinion, you guys, on applying 
behind and put tabs. Do you press them all the way as far as they can go with something like this, or do you let let their uh, let the glue kind of fill in? I was yeah, I was watching your technique actually to see it when you were pushing them down. I was seeing how much pressure. I I, I probably up it just a little bit more pressure, but not so much that I press in all the way. Because, exactly, because then you just don't get enough. So I um. I don't mash it in really hard, but I don't just kind of set it. I'm right in between. But I, yeah, I was paying attention to how hard you were pushing on it. It's so got to be a perfect. It's got to be a perfect. Perfect. exactly. So yeah. that's why I'm all like, I think you have better luck uh, and experience with it. With the well, that's awesome. I you know, see like how hard you're pushing. Yeah, you know, I'm doing like with a mini lifter, like uh -huh. just like normal big pulls. Yeah, I will try and get it uh, compressed all the way to the pan. Yeah, <laughs> with a minimal amount of glue between mm -hmm. two layers, but. Um, but with this, I've had, I feel like, you know, I've had more luck with keeping a little bit of, of glue in between these things. Yeah. A little bit more clay, a yeah, little, like little, little more adhesive, too. Okay. You know, um, as long as the the tab is taking the contour of the dents. Um, yeah. Um, do you, someone says, what about Marty's door lateral pull system? If you had that setup time available, I actually like that system, to be honest with you. I mean, but you do have to remove the door off the vehicle uh, for that system. And I do like it. It swings around. I was talking to Marty at the last meetup I had in Sacramento, um, but he does like this setup though because it's quicker. You know, it's just, it depends. But this is still a candidate for for actually coming off the door, you know I mean? coming off the vehicle. So that that probably would have worked Excuse me, fine in this uh, situation to answer your question. Uh, someone says put a fog light on it. It'll look better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's only for the finished <laughs> pictures. That's for the finished Just pictures. kidding, Fog guys. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, no, no, no. Everyone's fine. Everyone's fine. Everyone's fine. Yeah. We're just letting the glue dry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, this is just to get the general shape back and the, the depth of those dents out and the crowns out. But yeah, at some point, once we're done there, we're going to start working through the window channel uh, with a, a tube. Yeah. Yeah, the window's already out at the molding. Brandon and, and Joe pulled the, the window and the molding out. So, I mean, it's wide open in there. We just don't, you just don't want to prematurely start pushing in there and poke, 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 or stretch, stretch, stretch. And, and then the paints, then you're fighting what you could This might. Hang in there. Here we go. Round three. This time we got it. We got a nice setup here. One of these days, Mike's going to invite us over to do a door meeting. <laughs> $1,500. Brandon, I'm glad you did come, dude, because yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, shit. I'm working the camera. He's helping. I'm freaking doing this. I, I owe two people freaking lunch and dinner, dude. So, hey, we got 20 bucks, dude. We got 20 bucks to the cost. Dude, we are freaking. Yeah, we got enough for Costco pizza. and You ready? Yep, ready. Okay, cross the fingers, guys. Here we go. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Hoping those laterals will hold up on for us because we used the glue when it wasn't quite. Let it let keep going, Brandon. Yeah, I think, I think that was when the uh, battery was still good. Go on the bottom tube, yeah. How we looking? Looks good, dude. The bottom came up a little bit, dude. Oh, it's... We're losing our adhesion here on the bottom. Yeah, 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 but it did come up. That's why the chain's on there, dude. It looked like it came up. Yes, it, it did. It definitely did. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to knock down some of that crown while the top tension is on. 
Can you see Mark? Yeah, bring it in just a, can you bring it just a hair? Like towards you. Yeah, right there, right there. I can see the high now, dude. Yeah. Yep. And this is why I prefer to do this in this way than use the KB or bridge. Board. Yeah, because you can get it between it, right? Yeah, a little more uh, clearance, you know? Because that crown is just moving right where it needs to go. And I've even, you know, kind of off to the side yeah. there, but I'm getting knocked. Yeah, I know there's glue underneath that dent, but it does look like it's improved, dude, like big time, dude. So it looks like a lot of that came out. Yeah, we got some you got a good portion. I wouldn't say huge, but you got a good portion of it. Can you see with my head? Is my head in the way? No. Yeah, that's good right there. Oh, yeah. Good job. It, it, it went down. You got that... that that sharpness out of that. Okay, so I'm going to reposition. Well, well, let me just move the light just a little bit. That's fine, yeah. Yeah, go for it, dude. Were you going to go down? Yeah, you can see the bottom of the dent now. Yeah, that's good. That's good news. Are you still need to pull on top, Joe? It's pulling right now. It's all the intention. And I'm trying to oh, fast. I see. I see what you're trying to do. I'm trying to work fast so that I can uh, get one more tension pull to this bottom yeah. portion. Yeah, yeah. I would just put a bunch on the edge of a rag, dude. You want a, thin a, thick uh, a little bit thicker than this, Ben. Um, oh, I, they're, they're over there. Yeah. What about this? Yeah. Yeah. This how I'm trying to like you said, press it through. Okay. And now the dent's shallow. Longer, baby. We are making progress. Yep. <laughs> so, what is what is uh, you would say the, the most used glue that you use i mean that you, you you're out there in the field with joe and then brandon what do you use they're not red for me they're not red yeah, yeah. well you are you do work in a warmer climate dude 
Uh, yeah, it's a little warmer out there, and it's good in uh, arid temperatures. Uh, tab well is good too for a little bit lower temperature. So like my bin out red works between 90 and 100 really well. And uh, like in the winter time, if I'm heating up the panel, I'm heating it up between 90 and 100. Because the red, the red glue, the bin out red, holds really strong and, and it's real flexible too. It doesn't get all brittle. Yeah. Uh, and then tab well is, is found it's good around that range too and a little bit lower. A little real strong glues. And then I use the cam auto collision glue too. Uh, it's just longer set. Yep. Brandon, what do you use? Yeah, I go with the uh, the tequila. Tequila? Yeah, we have tequila and then the, the great tab well as well. You know, I, I did go with a bag of the uh, that green, uh, the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And uh, I, I like that stuff. What, what do you get? I, I would get another bag of that stuff. On side too. Dude, I've been. That's yeah, the one where you don't, you don't need uh, no release agent, so and it, and it holds. You know, you wouldn't use you know, you wouldn't use it for this, you know, but anything with a lifter slide hammer. Yeah, all day. So I'm noticing, granted, we got a little bit of a crown right here. As the glue dries, as you say, we do have a little crown here. So uh, I'll knock down some of that. Yeah. We'll have some attention. And then we'll do it. Is that ready? Almost. I'm surprised at the same time with this, but I guess that's how the collision glue works. Mm -hmm. Do you use a. Uh, I basically, I put a little oh. piece of strip of Tessa tape, the cloth, black tape over the ah. blue rubber, and then, uh, no, and then, let's see. Oh, we're drawing here. We're, we're losing our tension here. Okay, we're releasing. Did you guys pull yet? We, we just had it under tension and just knocking down crowns, but we're going to lose our uh, our bottom tab right now. Oh, we're bummer. Really? Okay. Yeah. It's okay, though. It's... We might try a different move. We'll just come from this angle right here. Do you have your gun on, Joe? It, it is, yeah. It's the, the green one over there. You want to try it? Ooh, that one's surprising. Good catch. <laughs> Who says PDR? Who says PDR ain't dangerous, oh, dude? Who says PDR ain't dangerous, dude? <laughs> yeah, dude. 
You're gonna have to see the instant replay. We were just talking about the thing popping. It popped, and I was like, Whoop. I just happened to catch it. The second one popped. Yeah. I don't know. I saw how you stripped that is. Well, let's take a look here. So first of all, it's pushable. It's it's we've got it reduced to a, mm -hmm. a level that is. Let me, let me, let me go to the second uh, camera here. Safety first, guys. We uh, you know, I have to apologize for anything because I got a little careless. And I should have been. Hey, it was a hey, man. Be free. But those of us, back, you know, yeah. they, they can release at any moment. They could, yeah. That uh, sometimes, uh, well, you can always put a blanket. Rest. Yeah. You know, to keep weight on it. Okay. But for what it's worth, we didn't have a tremendous amount of pressure. Yeah. Because it didn't go away. Right? Yeah. But had we, yeah, it would have been a different story <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but it's definitely pushable. Now. Dude, that's totally pushable. Um, but which direction do you want to push that, right? I still see some a little bit of tent, like some crown or some yeah, tension we're there. We're going to do some more crown work. Um, I would like to pull, I would like to get this thing down here knocked down with some tension on it. So I think maybe we'll just, uh, I'm gonna put some, uh, my next pull right here, perpendicular. We'll keep the laterals on, see how long they'll last. Um, and then I'm gonna knock this down and then I'll go up here and knock down some more crown while there's tension on the bottom. Let me get that shot real quick so you guys can see. It's okay. actually <laughs> looking pretty straight. You know, right? the, the, yeah, they're not as deep. Yeah, so two scary points, definitely. And then um, getting that, so getting those big waves out too. Thanks to the. All right. Well, we're gonna get this core out right here. Somebody said, "What time's lunch?" <laughs> you tell us. Okay. All right, Joe. So, what do you want to do? I okay. think I think personally, if we should maybe test the waters here. A little bit of tap some of the crowns which you want to do. Yeah, we're gonna tap some crowns. Let me let me get tap right here. I'm gonna do one drop tension pull right here, and that might be our last perpendicular tension pull. And uh, I'm gonna try the red glue this time. See if that holds up a little bit longer. And I have some cam auto in the truck too. Do you have the red stuff already loaded up in the event? Yep. Uh, Right here. This one matches your. Uh, is this is this tequila? Which one's the blue? Which one? Yeah, yeah that's tequila. Yeah. yeah. So I was telling Brandon, Mike, this little glue gun I got it on Amazon for thirty bucks. It cooks the glue really nice, um, but it's it doesn't load up the glue uh, on your tab. Very, super slow. Very, it's super slow. But the uh, reverse side of that is that it. It does release a very small stream for when you're doing micro pulls, so you might consider it for a small. Tabs. Thirty bucks, dude. Huh? Bucks. Right? That's what I said, and I'm like, did you feel it? It's got a good feel. Now, does it last too. as long as the other ones do? Uh, it, it's yeah, perfect. it's been on there, huh? It's been on there since you since Last this morning. Yeah, as long as long as the battery. But the main part is the temperatures. Is it put, does it stay at the temperature you want it? Does it keep the pull like right, you want? So. Keep you can see I had cam auto in here because I ran out of red. Can you hold that up a little bit towards the dent? Like, like yeah. yeah. I just want to see it come out a little bit. So I had cam auto in here the other day, and uh, this cam auto collision glue clear stuff, and uh, I, I switched back to the red. So the red's on there, so it's got a little bit of best of both worlds right now. So I'm going to put that in there. Let's set. There's so many variables to PDR. So, you know, anything can go right and anything can go wrong. Um, and, but the great thing about it is you have to understand, okay, so my glue's not coming out right. It's pulling too fast or it's, it's, it's not setting long enough, you know, or it's pulling prematurely, it's just not working. So there's a lot of, like I said, variables in, in glue pulling. Brandon, I think you were right about Come the alcohol vapors just being close enough, close to yeah, the close enough, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Even just the vapors. I, 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 I agree. I agree. Uh, if you get that mist near there, yeah, it, it starts. There it starts the process. Yeah, of, of, yeah, and it's yeah. Once it starts to peel that edge, every time, and I did, and I still try it all the time. Where I'm like, I'll have one right next to it, and every time it just it pops out. So. 
things without a ladder that's already pulled in. I know right. some people would be like, all right, I'm pushing that. I'm not waiting. I'm, I'm on it. That's that's the main thing about there's different techniques about how, how people approach these type of repairs. I've learned to be way more patient than I've ever been because I am thinking going, I don't want to spend 75% of my time on the prevention mistakes I could have done in the beginning. So yeah. uh, you'll see once this, once we start doing this, the pushes are going to be cooperative. They're not, you're not going to make those pokes and, and those force pushes. And you're like, Oh, I can fix that. Well, well you're going to fix, I can fix that about a hundred times. Like, and what happens, you're not going to be able to tap that one time and it goes away. You're talking tap, tap, tap. Oh, I missed tap, tap, tap. I missed. And then now you're cleaning it up a little bit back and forth and you can see the time involved that adds up. So that, that's what I'm trying to say is do some more preventive uh, work in the beginning. It's fair to say too, like this is new territory for me personally, doing uh, multiple pulls, you know, simultaneous and not really relieving pressure on the panel or the lateral. Pulls. Do you really think this helps this? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Because it keeps the panel, the entire panel very rigid. And, and, and you know, like when you're beating on a panel so hard and just bouncing all over the place yeah. and you're almost doing nothing, uh -huh. you're just hitting, creating divots. You know, and you, you can see we haven't really done that much knocking down. No, and no the sure. metal just went right where I needed it to go. Yeah. What about when you have a softball then, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and you go to push it. I think you're doing a great job with soft tip, and, and what it does is just, it just stretches yes. it. But if you have lateral tension and tightening it up, you showed one of those, Joe, where you actually have, you didn't give yes. this one, but you had the other one. Quarter pound. And yeah. you tightened the, the middle one, dude. Yeah. yeah. But, and you saved it from oil can. Absolutely. That was aluminum too. That was the body line just came up with like a couple pushes. Let's see. Alright. Now this one because it's more shallow and it's you know not as rigid as you have to be careful the bowl. Not overpool, yeah. So I think one of the viewers had commented can you overpool and yeah, yes you can. Yeah. Use a smaller uh, clamp. What, what do you call these? I look that this little deal here, the attachment. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what you call it. I mean, this is such new territory for me. Does that have a tension thing? I don't even. No, not unfortunately not. But this one's going to give me a little bit more uh, visibility around the dent, so I can knock down the crown a little more precisely. And just a lower profile. Already, look yeah, at that. Right there, right there. Now you can tap that crown down. Now, if you can tap that with your without your hand being in the way, it'd be great, Joe. Let me put reposition the light. Okay, you 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 got it here. Let's see. Hold on. The light go out. I I tried to adjust it. Just trying not to get beam in the head here. Now, wouldn't that be something like a knocked out and light YouTube? <laughs> no, it wouldn't be. It would not be something. Did you used to go get knocked the F out? <laughs> okay. So, uh, see if you can see that. No. I can, I can adjust it. Yeah, you adjust it. There's the monitor right there. Okay. So, all right. So, I'm gonna knock down. Yep, there you go. No, yeah, but I need the light on it. See, it's dark. Oh, gotcha. I can probably move around you, dude. So you tell me how you're gonna set up. I think you can probably see. I can see. I can see that perfectly. Yeah, there's little pinches there. Okay, that's good. Okay, so again, uh, you, you want to grab a rag yeah. and hang it on here. Okay. 
Ready? Right. Put your tilt. Tilt your hand. Hold on. Tilt your hand down if you can. Yeah. Is that okay, Joe? Can you see? Because I can see. Yeah, Perfect. I can see. Okay. Here we go. You see how easy that is? Look at that. Awesome. Again, I have to put emphasis. You've got to be real careful here. That if, as you release the crown, it's changing the, the surface. And your tab will want to release. Good, Joe. Mm -hmm. you just move right where you, where you need it to. It's a little cumbersome trying to get around the, uh, the tab and the, the attachment device. And then, of course, trying to do it so that the camera can see. Through. Yeah. I just want to make sure we're getting the crown as much as possible. Can you see it? I'm going to be. Yep. I'm going to be addressing this part of the crown right here. Yep. We can see it. See? I see it perfect, dude. Uh, someone has a Frank has a question. It says Joe, um, what? Which tabs do you use when you use your reverse clamp system? Um, I use the, Keiko, the ones that came with the Keiko um, uh, lateral bolt thing, <laughs> lateral uh, device, uh -huh. you know, like what we have here. Yeah, yeah. But before I had those Keiko tabs, so those are, they look like a centipede, but they have, um, instead of the little single tab like uh let me show them let me show them okay one second let me take a look at that some good crown uh, work done there. this is what uh this is what they look like uh was it frank with us no come to this camera please okay so much you mean all right okay so so you see it looks like a typical keiko centipede and Pretty much is, but you'll notice they're solid. You see how in between? Oh, would you? That, who has that? Is that Kiko's? That came with the Keiko lateral tension tool. I didn't get that. You didn't? No. That might have been pre, because you got one of the. I got first the, I got right? the first the prototype. One, yeah, right? yeah. So, I didn't get uh, that. You know, yeah. I did the same thing, but I just took my regular centipede tabs, and then I just mushed two of them together to give it that same thing. I actually, this is the first time I'm seeing that setup. But yeah, I had just taken two of mine and then mushed them together and did the same thing yeah. with uh, oh, yeah. with that go. style. You, so that was what. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. So that was what I did. Was I, would, I would take them and mash them together like this, and then do the same thing. I would glue one of the tabs down and then make it more rigid. Exactly, because I I any time if I didn't do this, as soon as I would put some pressure right there, then the tab would start to bend in like this. Um, and then your, your your lateral tension just pops right off. So yeah, I was just taking two of them and then mushing them together. But having having the other piece with the little bar, that's that's perfect. But yeah, if you're in a pinch, that will totally work for you. That's cool. That's a good, that's idea. A good idea. So uh, oh, and one more thing, um, I before I did the Dude, that dent almost looks like it's gone from here. Yeah, dude. yeah it's, it's going. Yeah, it's moving. I use the same one that I have a hole because sometimes we'll just glue that to there. And put the hook right in the, in the hole on the board. Smart. Yeah. And then, yeah, I, got, I have a pile of two by fours or some one by six around. Yeah. It's got so much stuff you can do with it. Oh, yeah. Well, well uh, you guys talked about Marty Rudin earlier and you can watch his videos on top of the PBR training. Mm -hmm. He's got uh he uses these nail clips, like these construction nail plates that he glues and he just hooks into the oh. 
drops it to you know like anchors it in something else. I'm gonna move uh, readjust yeah. the light. Yeah, that, that looks 100%. Now we've got so some 50% better. <laughs> up there. It's almost ready to push, but I, I would like to relieve a little more tension up in here. Uh, this blue is holding really strong right now. So we're going to take advantage of that. I'm going to move my light up to here, Mike. Ready to switch it to you. So I'm going to start knocking down crowns up in here as much as possible, take advantage of our tension from there. It's okay. I'm going to get the concept. Yeah, right there. So earlier with some of our other pulls. Still got tension on those on those laterals. Uh, yeah, the laterals are still under tension, and then you know I'm hoping that it just starts having this tension down here, Mike, at the bottom of our deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also still allowing you know, giving us. A, a, this is just a thought, good idea too, right? Uh, what happens if you move these in the next door, like moving them closer, like that, right? when you go to push? Uh, oh yeah, no, we're going to use it when we're pushing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's Thank definitely going to help with the laterals. We're when when we're done with the per perpendicular pulls, um, then I may resort to slide hammering some of this out so we can get some clean pulls, and then we're going to keep the laterals on. We might have to reapply at some point because you know, or we might put more tension. Yeah, we've been on it for a while, yeah. and then you know, I think that we're in this. Temperature right now, we're getting pretty good adhesion with the cam auto and uh, then out red. Yeah. So um, you got a high rate blue on there? It is pretty much because I I was Tom Brandon. I ran out of red blue the other day out in the field and I had cam auto, so I used cam auto. But then I'm, as soon as I got my den out red, I put it back in. So right now it's hybrid. I think uh, we are going to, this might be a two series that we are out of the ground. Before we start doing that, we should. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 So it's like, oh, you want me to go get something? We don't get air conditioning. We don't get brakes, right? <laughs> hey, you hear that? Shade or, or... All right, what would you, if you guys yeah. watch it, would you guys want us to take a break? <laughs> They're going to say, no, keep going. You guys don't need to eat. Yesterday. It's coming out really good. Look, Joe is think, uh, Joe's hardcore. Yeah. Thrasher metal. So like chill and relaxed, and he's like, yeah. back even than out. Me or you, 
Yeah. Can you imagine like Joe's like like what's that? I have to do a video on he's like he's like classical music and he's like what is Joe baby? What's he listening to? And I can play classical music. Joe, Joe, what are you listening to? Anyways, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, we are uh, we're getting through this, or Joe's getting through this. Uh, I think this freaking it turned out good. I think. What do you want to do now, Joe? What we got? Um, okay, so can you, Brandon? Can you? you want me Let's be prepared. Oh, I can push. Give Brandon something, you know? Give him a little taste. That's why, yeah, when I've been yeah. signing, I'm holding it. I'm like, yeah. that far one looks like it's an 80 pound. It's fine. Well, that, yeah, that's, that's good. Dude. That's yeah. good right there. That Watch out, Joe. It's giving me a little bit of a lift. I'm still going to hold this because I, I don't trust that one that's near you. I think we're getting the place here. Yeah. That sounds. It's. Joe, explain what you got left right here in this reflection right here. Okay, so we still have our deep dent here and here, but it's not as deep, thanks to our tension pulls. Uh, Brandon set tension laterally on these two big bolts here because they're holding pressure side to side outward. And what that does is that creates rigidity in this area that we're working so that when I tap down on it, much more responsive. It's like a dream trying to a good dream and try to move that metal. It's everything is going where it needs to go. And then we have tension perpendicular below it. Uh, and it's also holding nice rigidity to the entire panel. Just more workable that way. Uh, we did move that those pits out just a little bit. Not as much as we'd like, but you know it, it's moved substantially. Uh, we can almost go in there and start pushing and when we we'll through the window channel, and when we do, we're going to leave our lateral tensions in place and and move it. Hell, maybe I'll leave this one. Dude, that's like so ready to push. I mean, I want to, I want to just push it. Like. It's tempting. It is tempting, right, Joe? That's that's a nice place right there. That's that you can tell that's holding tension right there. That edge right there. Yeah. And even just moving my head position, uh, side to side, up or down. It's giving me a different perspective of the crowns. And when I hit harder, I tend to choke up on the uh, on the ham hammer handle, just because I, I as the harder I hit, I start to swing off to the side. So, like it's tempting to do it like this because it's very effective, but I also tend I personally tend to miss the. Target, so yeah. Sometimes you'll see me choke up. Someone says they're watching from their garage. Dude. There is.
that just always want to feel no, something to do. Uh, uh, it's a little more. I just want to see what it's doing for us. Brett, did you want to? Yeah, so, I'm actually seeing that, that it was at, start to come loose. So uh, the top of it concerns top about it. on the inside. If you look at it from this side, you can see it's already starting to separate. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can. Uh, oh, you can relieve tension. Before you do it, well, let's just keep going. Let's see the, the, uh, just, uh, I'm not going to like be aggressive. I just want to see what it's like. I remember the braces right, the brace right there, yeah, right, right, right next to it. So, uh, yeah, you will, uh, yeah, I'm just watching. <laughs> <that. laughs> okay, there's the. You gotta have to use a blade to pull it something. Up. Yeah, I think if we can get more of the. I bet you. Up, if you just, like you said, slide hammer. Yeah. Right. Leave it very minimal for pushing because mm -hmm. if you try to. Push with this, with the yeah. brakes there, you just got to poke it. Yeah. It's crazy. I think we have to do things on right here. Yeah. yeah. Like down towards the Now you can get the good thing. Good yeah. thing here. You're good. Yeah. But right here, that's probably why there's a line in it. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's what we were saying earlier. Yeah. So you can it's see right. it on the ground. Sucking it in. Yeah. That Jared short bar? I don't think I've gotten to check out a short bar yet. Yeah, they do put an extension on here. Let me show you. This is yeah. Jared's. That's this is this is the, bar, a better repair? a better repair. And you remember the like, so you can pull it oh, like. Look at that! It was a double thread. I didn't even see that. Look at you. So I got a little better repair right here. No, we on this. You can just put your handle. Have some serious pushing. You can have the, this is a shorter one right here. It's got different slots here too as well. So if you want to actually take this off, and if you want to push here instead, I don't know one that I thought was gonna go. So, if I had to adjust more, I'd be able to do justice, but anyways, you can push like that too. And two people talking, so sorry. It's a good, it's a good tool, great tool. Alan Johnson. Um, yeah, we've already talked about the cold glue in the beginning. We went, we didn't really want a cold glue because cold glue tends to um, lock up pressure, dude. Like, not overstretch it, but just like make it move to where you don't want it to move, and then you're fighting reversing that back. Uh, I learned my lesson. Uh, let's say what? No, it was three weeks ago. I called you. I was doing a truck bed, and I was like, you know what? Let me just cold glue it, and it had a crown on top like this i did have a TikTok thing on it but uh, what happened is i pulled it so fast it didn't come down it actually went up right the metal went up and i pulled down metal this way and i trapped the metal in between so i was fighting the crown now it turned into a reverse crown it was a nightmare so it has happened to me more than once to do that you think that cold glue is going to help you on, on a lot of those things but you it's it it has its place but you have to be very observant when to use it Mayata, how you doing, man? I'm, a, I'm, I'm assuming you're either in the Russian area, the Ukraine, Lithuania, somewhere around there, but thanks for watching. Scott! Hola, man. Hola. Hello. Aloha. <laughs> Hola. Dude, I am so mixed up. My cousin's going to Hawaii tonight. So my niece is going to Hawaii, uh, Hawaii State, dude, or Hawaii. She's just uh, attended there. Hey, I hope you and Dent Jordan are doing good, Scott. Okay, let's see here. Where are we at now, Joe? 
Okay, so we're going to keep our perpendicular pull down here. Okay. It's, it's been holding up real nice. We don't have a tremendous amount of pressure on it, but mm -hmm. our, our glue is holding up. So I'm just going to keep that on. And, uh, so what are you going to try to do now? What's your, what's your, what's your, uh, we're definitely going to put the lateral. Dude, I can't on. see nothing on that one. Sorry, guys. Uh, what are you going to do? We're going to put the laterals back on because we, we went ahead and took them off because they were starting to give way. The glue started to, to uh, release. I'm going to go this way. Okay. We just set up and just going to press the panel. That way these guys can be a different look. Yeah, man. Look, I can see everything here. The other advantage, you know, it might not be the glue. It might be just that we have a longer or a wider footprint on this bottom bend because it was much more shallow than our pits up here on the bottom line. That could be why it's getting on that cube. The curing place stronger. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to give you guys two birds of a bird's eye view here. So. Yeah, we can still see that that dent from this angle is still, I mean, it's, it ain't, it ain't a, a walk in the park push repair, but damn, that is a lot better than an hour ago. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely workable. I mean, if we wanted to go. I mean, if we push, had to push with it, we could. We yeah. could. Yeah. You know, we've, we've all pushed stuff like that, you know, but I think since we have the tension uh, devices here, I think. It's going to make for a cleaner repair for us. You can keep going with uh, some glue. And I think uh, now I'm going to focus on this here. As you can see, that there's that, like, yeah, you can see that there's still a little crease up top. Okay? And then there's the point down here at the bottom. Foot number two, or number one. So, uh, how do you want to set up, Joe? Because I, I don't want to get in your way. I'll let you set up first, and then I'll come around. Okay. Do you remember what we did with the camera hotel? That one that we uh, cut. We go flying. True shot. That's exactly what that dent looks like in real life, right there. Okay, that's that's what we got left. There's a brace that starts right here and it goes over over this way, and then we're able to get to here with the tool. Hey Ray, no, we're we're not using it on the full. We're 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 using it for the most of the uh, tension pulls, but we're going to be pushing with that that in a little bit. But we were in the beginning, so it was uh, let's say a challenge in the beginning at first because we didn't have it set up correctly. Thank you. Appreciate it. Blind by the light. I'm glad you could join us too, Ray. Are you guys, I can't wait to see the finish result. I had two similar dents on it. Oh, sorry. Uh, someone says, hey guys, I can't wait to see the finish result. I had two similar dents on two Audi doors and they were not easy. All the best. Thank you, Moisa. Boy, that looks like the blob. What is that? What color is that? Oh, that's red. I can't see it in this. It looks black. It looks black. 
I told you it compresses the video so bad that you you can't. It makes it look like two stops darker than it is. And did you see that? That's what they're seeing. That's the true what the camera sees. You know, that's coming out of the camera right on our monitor. That's what that's what the, the, the mm. light yeah. can see. But they, see how it compresses it? Yeah. Yeah. So we're, they're not seeing the detail as well as we are on the camera. Right. But it's still, no, it's still, they wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, they want to. Yeah. Yeah, it's like I'm that, sure that and, a, and a fog board. You're already done. You know what? I'm going to order. I'm going to order food. <laughs> Just joking.
cleaning the brand is getting the lateral pulls back in place. So you can have benefit from that lateral tension. I'm just prepping this glue stick. Is it nice to make sure it's nice and clean? Damn, so that that's some good glue over there, dude. Joe, what's your average repair time, dude? On you, what do you, what do you? Because I know there are people who say that they spend their average. Are you spending this much time generally on, on a repair like this? It's a good question. You know, I haven't, I haven't looked at the last two months, but I've done a lot of variation of repairs, everything from door dings. You know, obviously that's going to be quick. Uh, to some bigger projects, you know, smashes even, you know. Uh, most of my repairs are complex, you know. Uh, and so I'm probably two to four hours typically. On okay. All right. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, and then also working in my own, with my own setup, you know, yeah. I can usually move quicker. On these type of repairs, I don't give you on these type of repairs. I just bring it here, here. Because to be honest with you, John, I'm not used to these type of being yeah. at a retail job for five hours, dude. Right. You know, and beyond, and quite honestly, we can't afford that because we have too many, I would say, retail jobs to go to that are smaller. So right. the big ones come here. Okay. Uh, yeah. And the, yeah, you and I talked about the advantage of a shop. That's the advantage. That's the main only advantage. The only advantage is that you can take your time on bigger events because let's say I had two other customers, I actually have time to go through those customers why this car waits in between. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Right. That makes sense. Um, for me, I like doing these types of repairs because in anything complex in nature, especially on a newer vehicle or a car that matters to the customer, you know, um, there's this greater sense of urgency for, for this, these types of repairs. And the, the customer values the higher level repair. So it's kind of an uncharted territory or uncharted or uncontested market. Because a lot of guys do want the quick repairs and, and that just doesn't jive with that kind of uh, business model, you know? So uh, you can almost ask, you know, I don't want to say ask whatever you want, but you know, the pricing guide that, we, that many of us use, works very nicely with that type of debt. You know, you can really have a sustainable business and make a good income. Okay, so, so this is slightly of a tension, right? Or it is? You don't have both under tension, are both. Yeah, this one's just slightly. I really I mean, I wouldn't say it's like. On this one, there's more pressure on the lateral than on this guy. Okay. This one's just kind of the setup, but yeah, we're yeah. ready to have a little bit more pressure than this one. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my blending counter. I saw a crown just under the body line, under the leading front, leading edge uh, lateral tab, if that makes any sense. And we're going to take advantage of that right now. Ooh, that's good. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Let's go rag over here and do that. That's something you should have been doing. So this, what this does is prevents if this pops, it's just going to drop. It's not going to go fly in someone's face. Okay. Now is this. <clears throat> Is this a crown that is being generated because of that lateral tension? That I couldn't tell. Because I think that was what somebody was asking about earlier. Okay. And from here, yeah, it, you can totally see that that foot is distorting the metal, as is the one back here. Yeah. Because there's enough pressure on it. So I don't know if when you're getting ready to tap down, if it's going to disappear when we release that lateral tension. Yeah. And see, I, I don't know. Uh, I honestly wasn't paying attention to it. You know what we can do if you want to find out for sure. Right. 
Release. Release. Put it back. We'll yeah. See if it changes. That's kind of what I was thinking smart. too. I'm we sorry, didn't I didn't catch what you guys were saying. What did so you say? If you look at it from this side right here, and somebody had commented about it earlier, they were asking about high spots around the feet of the lateral tension. And yeah, if you are behind Joe, you can see the distortion in the lines that both of the feet are creating. So what Joe and I are talking about right now is okay. that is this um, something that's temporary? Um, or as soon as we let the, the pressure off, those highs and lows disappear, or if it's something that we've created. But you can see from back there, you see what we're talking about? Okay. So on the inside, you're obviously going to have some high spots, and then behind it, you can see low spots. So our idea is, well, let's loosen the tension off of here and see if we need to work on this. But yeah, if you wanted to get a shot of that so you can see That's what we're talking really about. Good. Um, because yeah, that, that and I do remember that there was somebody on the, on the live that, that commented about about the high spots on the feet, and I think this is what he was talking about. In other words, is that coming caused by the tension device, or is it just part of the shock wave from the original? Exactly. Yeah, and I um. Let's do that. All right. Yeah, cool. So everybody, I'm like, yeah, so we can see it. <laughs> so maybe we got yeah, the perfect yeah. our high spots right here. And you can see that shoulder around here is giving us low spots, and we got the same thing happening on the other side. Let's so, lower the light a little bit. I'll show you what I was getting ready to, to top it down. Bring it down. Yep. That's good. Uh, so in the camera. No, yeah, a little higher. In the in the. You see, it's too a little too low. That's, the light. That's actually good right there. Yeah. yeah so you're talking about that bit underneath the body line, like right. On the other, it? yeah, right there. Right there. So. Let me go a little lower. No, like no, it's aim. right there because what I was getting ready to knock down is right here where the tip of the, the, mm -hmm. the hammer is. Yeah. Right here. So I think, yep, yeah, right there. So let's keep an eye on that. Let's relieve. Pressure. Let's see. Am I blocking the lines from my arm? No. Okay. Oh, yeah. It lifted up. Yeah. So it, it did reduce it. All right. So, and then now let's see it in lines as I tighten it back up. Yep. Okay. Yep. See, everybody saw that? Yeah. There you, go. you can see it go right under the body line. I'm going to go through it one more time just so everybody can see it. Right there. Line's gone. And then there it is. And then if I tighten a little bit more, you see it underneath the body line right there? Yeah. You see how it opened up? So I think that's what your viewer was uh, commenting on. And I'm sorry, I don't know um, that, who I don't know who it was. earlier, but um, good eye sniper for sure. Yeah. And so uh, I'm glad that we were able to, to see that. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it'll reduce it if it's like, like I said now, it's like you're past that point initial first phase of, of, of lateral tension as the neck gets more smaller you want to bring it in closer give me tighten that up a little bit more does it look like it's getting ready to go it's going to go it's the the upper one is going to go this one right here yeah it's the one right here I was just going to do some finish work on the crowns over here, but those were caused by uh, our tension bus. So I think the next thing is maybe we start looking into uh, slide down. Bring it up now. Let's do that. Are we done with the perfect pole? Or are you? No, we're going to keep that on. I, I think we should keep that on there for now, as long as it's holding. Hey, take away the light. What, Dan? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. It looks like it brought it up a bit. Yeah. So we got now the thing is, is you know what I do, Joe? I actually push a little bit of that center to, to help so it doesn't bring that all back down. You know what I mean? So like, because so, if you 
you tap that, if you tap that, I'll push. Exterior, this a little bit, but not. I spot to help bring it up, right? Yeah. Because if you if you hit that top, if you try to hit that top, it's just going to collapse. Losing the whole thing. Yeah. That's smart. I think. Uh, so I was thinking, I don't know along the same lines, but instead of pushing from behind, I was thinking put like a reaper tab or something. Yeah. Right? Anything. Right that, anything. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. Would, that. yeah anything yep. but but tap. Yeah. 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 Just leave it right there. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. So let me see your pointer again. Top this down, and I actually, like Joe said, we want to pull just a little bit. That's right, yeah, you're right. Oh, it's not like that. We don't want to. We don't want to tap this down. We want to push or pull right here, what Joe wants to do. And then I would top this down because if we try to top this first, it's just going to collapse like crazy. So occasionally you will have some over pulls and some missed taps or whatnot, but this is this is totally acceptable. It's really what we're doing. This looks good, dude. Okay. It, you still want this tension? Yep, yeah, I do. And then uh, come over here, you guys. I notice what looks like some crowns around here. Again, I don't know. You're saying right here? Yep. I think. I, I think again. That's this. You, you can see this high spot on yeah, here. I do too. And then how it brings it down. Oh, it's artificial. Yeah, yeah, we got artificial, artificial high spots and lows. Yeah, um, and my only concern is that if it is from the impact, if we don't address it, it's going to affect the, the rest of the care. Do you want to relieve pressure? And see yeah, if see it, it does it. Yeah. 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 Keep an eye on. Now, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Where, 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 where are we looking on this one? Okay. We're looking right here. Oh, that is it. Okay. Okay. I still see crowns. Yeah, I do too. And so, I think if we don't address that now. You think that's, is that body line? Is that normal? I don't think so. This? This is where we start referencing the other day. Yeah, right. Do you want to bring a uh, reflection? Thanks, Hugo. I didn't have my audio hooked up, so yeah, I was uh, had my other mic on the other side. So we're good now, I think. Damn, Joe, you got a good eye because you're right. It was a little bit of crowned, and now it's looking like it's going back down. So.
I don't think it's great yet, but so you can see when you tighten it that actually what happened is that, that the crowns got less tighter. It was like like this, right? And then once you release it, it was like then it tightened back up. Just feel like any, anything that's gonna help us to move all that metal back and forth, right? If you go For those of you who uh, are new to blend, a blending hammer, uh, or you know, haven't used it before, uh, I learned this from uh, Shane Jacks. Uh, he had a seven R a few years back. He's really skilled, highly skilled with the uh, blending hammer. And his instruction was to plant your palm of your hand somewhere on the car while holding the hammer from the end. That's why this hammer has a little ball at the end. And I do one little setup tap so I know where I'm going to hit. So that, you hear me go. One, like two, like one, a confirmation. Two, yeah. Uh, yeah. I get this set, the, the first tap you hear is the setup tap, tap, and then the second one is the one where you actually execute the, the knock. Again. But this is something that I have I have not mastered the, the blending hammer. I agree. I agree. Don is very good. Okay, so I'm going to move the light just a little bit to get a little more uh, perspective. Yep. See if we can get to where the camera can see if you want. Some of the have you used that yet? I haven't I haven't gotten any presets yet. But all the rounds? Well and then there's this one too. Oh, yeah, but I feel like that kind of bends to it. Dude, once it's stretched, I'm like, oh man, you're my favorite. I go I like these Kiko dead center tabs. Try 
I know, guys, it's not super exciting the whole time, but this, this is real PDR. I mean, this is how it goes. Watch your feet dry, right? That's why when you see me do my videos, it's just nothing but micro highlights, dude. That's all it is, like, on my Okay, so uh, I think your idea, Brandon, is the thermometer. Yeah. Did you have one? Yeah. Or uh, temperature gauge? How do you like those three stabs from the pen paper, Mike? I haven't used them much, dude, so I'll find out. What are we at? I'm going to cross it over. It's going to grab a five. I don't think you were here for it when we, we were talking about uh, what temperature you like to uh, pull your tabs at. Like, I'm about between, honestly, probably about the 90s, around there. 85, 90, somewhere around there. Yep. Brandon has a good rule of thumb. I said uh, 88. I'm a fan of Back to the Future. That's what we do. As soon as we hit 88, then <sighs> turn back the clock. There you go. Don't worry, Miguel. We're going to be doing some... If you are here long enough, it's about right, right? Yeah, okay. I want to pull, I don't want to be in the way. Okay, guys, yeah, there you go. Okay, ready? Yeah, damn, damn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it's. Look at your crown down now. We'll go look at your side point of view. I think it's making it a little bit worse on the bottom. Actually, it's just making it. It's not easy. But, but, it, but it is moving the low over. Maybe now we should be putting it. I think, I think, should we put it out? <laughs> yeah. Or should we put attention uh, straight? Yeah, might as well. I mean, do that. I'm impressed with how okay. hard that thing pulled. That pulled hard, didn't it? I mean, you cut, it definitely pulled it. It pulled in the middle of that sucker, dude. Get that uh, little smaller shot. That'll work. That's a Reaper tab, you guys, ladies and gentlemen. That is like the one of the latest tabs that Reaper has. Uh, which is super strong. Is it uh, it's in there already. Woo, yeah. yeah. there it goes. Yeah. Damn. Okay, I was going to say that thing. Let's see what it looks like without the glue on it, Joe. Or Brandon. Shut up, dude. <laughs> Yo, Big John said that uh, he's saying cool paint will be easy. I have not experienced that. <laughs> no, I, I think you were just messing with yeah, me. Yeah, I think that too. Dude, that thing. Hey, okay. Off to the Reaper tab. okay, we got we got a tap now, dude. So yeah, let's so see what let's, it looks like. Pin, yeah, it's not a pin anymore. No. Okay. So, 
Quarter and eighth inch spacing, eighth inch. You know what? I think you're right. I think it is. It's another eighth inch line. It might be three sixteenths. Oh, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So I'm going to go with that. Yeah. 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 Ye
make sure that everything looks good. And I move my head back and forth. I mean, I'm always, I'm, I know you guys do. I'm just telling tell anybody how we read lines because we're, we're the unicorns. Yeah, that's yeah. looking good. I mean, this is fully cooperating. Brandon, all we can do, Brandon's chopping at the bit, dude. Yeah. Uh, dude, this thing wants to. Now, if we just drill a hole, we're ready to go, dude. I mean. Yeah. Hey, Mike, Charles Darwin <laughs> asks. Uh, Hello, he says, hello, what kind of light are you using, please? This is a, a Limitant version 3.0 with the 1 8 inch lines. Uh, I believe there's six LEDs and uh, there's a switch for each LED. I have all six on. There's like three soft white and three uh, bright white. And I have all three on. So, I, uh, I'll take the, the There's a, there's a mushroom right there on the floor. The reason why I switch, guys, is because it still gives, it still gives you precision, but we're not at the risk of just breaking any micro You have to push a little, a little, a little harder over here. Yeah, it's it's coming out, man. Okay, so ready for a tab? Why don't you get you guys another one of those three point three? I'd say pull right underneath that body line, right? Okay. Right here. Okay. Yeah, you got a good view of it on the screen here. And I told my board like this, and it's like look at all that yummy real estate right here. Yep. And that, so this is why if we can get this pulled up a little bit more, this is butter. There you go. There you go. Okay, go ahead. You guys put some jabs on. Manuel Artiga. He says, way to go, guys. Loving this live. Well, thank you for joining us, Manuel. We appreciate you guys. It's fun. It's fun to do this and show the, yeah. the way. Yeah. Yeah, German cars stink, man. I mean, they're great cars, but they, they're hard to fix when you get complex dents. Oh, yeah, these guys got that. Yeah, it's the stickers. It's stickers. Some of Charles, on some of those lines, though, actually have them screen printed, but those are stickers that he has. Does the inner brace near the dent have bonding to the panel? It, does it? I don't think it does. Does I it? I didn't take a look. I, I didn't don't... see the like the big ball. I think it. I just think it's very very close to it. So that, um, that's a great question because that does affect uh, how we pull, especially glue pulls. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can create more. A tech tip too. If, it, if, if that is the case, um, when you have glue against there, you can actually take a. Heat gun from the outside really takes a lot of heat. And if you can get a whale tail or a double bent blade in there and just release it a little bit, okay. So the drawback is is that it the panel isn't as rigid, so be careful. Generous on the glue there. That's it. It's a little warm, so we can get that temperature gauge out, the thermometer. And all 
the while, guys, we still have tension from the perfect pool tower at the bottom of the deck. Um, we're still holding down there, which is pretty impressive. And the laterals are steady too, although instead of gap inside on both, yeah. Uh, it, maybe after this uh, this pool, we'll consider re reapplying. And you know, we might switch to the Cam Auto for. for as well as the, did that tab out. stretch? Did it stretch at all? That that keep the, uh, the, the uh, I mean that uh, river, the, river, river, the river, river. Yeah. Not at all. I'm not stretch. No, it's pretty rigid. It's built a little thicker and now has yeah. a hex yeah uh, shape to it. I've been wanting to try the uh, the dentless touch guys have a crease tab that looks pretty cool. It's got like the pointy of the ends mm. and you know so you can see where they're. You get right, right on the line. line. Yeah. Camera and Ready? Wow. Okay, okay. Thank uh, Joe. You guys are just, I mean, I would, me personally at this point, I would tap and push. Yeah. Um, With it then. And then we'll oh. look into going to the top. Again, I'm being generous with that. I really wanted to have a good, uh, strong hold there. Okay. Okay. Left hand smooth set. This is left. Again, it's the bent out red and likes the 90 to 100 range. Oh, I'm sorry, for a moment. So I think we might be kind of at a dead end down here. There's still that low there, but I'm still focused mainly on the deepest parts of the original dent or dents. Um, so now this used to be the deeper, deepest part right here, but now it's, you know, we've since reduced it quite a bit, obviously. So now I want to focus on this right here. I'm going to see if we can slide hammer some of that out, and then we'll start looking at knocking down crowns again. You're going to use that same uh three step the same gender i think so yeah i think so too do you want me to uh readjust those you want to try to get one more pull out of it at first that's what i'm thinking it's still levels. holding it's still holding i think we should go for another time yeah, i agree yeah let's do it all right did we lose that tab here they could go flying
Oh, it's getting thick. Thanks, Hugo. Um, Chris Brown. Hey, boys. I put a whole day of work while I've been listening and watching. <laughs> He's freaking Chris. Okay, Chris. How's it going, Chris? Ah, just kidding. You guys are awesome for going live with your repairs. I would be a nervous wreck. Oh, you mean he gave it to you? Well, I feel bad, man, because I've had it forever. How do you like that? I haven't got a chance to use the hot box well, yet. And yeah? I used it on my F1, or F250, but it's yeah. super deep dead. Really? Yeah. I don't have luck for those things, man. Well, Aluminum, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have any luck with those? Steel, no. no, no, no. <laughs> Aluminum, yes, because you can... You can really heat the hell out of the aluminum too. Here we go. Let's fly down. This time, above the body line. Dang. Dang. Those things right? pull hard, dude. Yeah, but you got good glue too on there. Good glue. I'm going to have to get some of that. That's called red, red out. Red out red. Red out red. Okay. okay. It's been around forever. I know. I never used it because I always thought, I don't know. I'm not very hot. Yeah, it's pretty strong. It's Dude, cool. Joe is just waiting for the for the he's waiting for the the, the, the unicorn push it because he wants it to be super buttery. Yeah. Huh? Right. I was just gonna how did I get pushing? But well, no, that's a good no, we're not and uh, Joe, I'm not trying to well, I'm I just know, saying I I'm just saying like right, do it clean. Yeah. Yeah. Look at, look, gonna, his, that's why his lines are straight as hell, dude. Right, that's exactly. Good, it's my impatience that keep him wiggly. Yeah. You know, and my blending hammer skilled art. The Look, that man. thing's that thing's pretty nice. straight already. Yeah, so uh, at this one, this time it pulled out to the side a little, so you can see a little, little high spot, a little high nice spot. In fact, if I move, it's off to the side, even though we're right in the center. Sometimes it does that. So. I'm going to knock this down just a little bit, and then we're going to try another tab right in the center, see if we can get it in the center. Again, with the lateral tension, you know, keeping an eye on them because, you know, they could give way. And, uh, but with the lateral tension, it's helping everything we're doing. You see, Mike? Yeah. You see it wants to go down quick. some more slide hammering there. And I think that's going to take us to the next step to get in here. And I think we may be able to do this without taking the door off. So. I hope so. Moving, Joe? Yeah, oh yeah. All of this, it seems like a lot of work, and it is, but it's a lot less work than if we just started prematurely pushing and creating that cleanup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we agree. And I, I ask me how I know. 
Yep, no, yeah. we, all, we all know the exact same way. Yep. yep. It makes it much mm -hmm. a little bit easier. And it makes for a cleaner repair. So, um, My target is right here. There. Just above the body. And uh, I like to apply the glue in the direction of the crease. So I'll go on these hex tabs, the dent reaper. I'll go like right to the center as much as possible. And it just like point to point. That sit for a little bit. Again, if I don't have a temperature gauge on me, I like to pull right when the glue allows me to kind of put my finger, my thumbnail in there without piercing it. You know, oh, it doesn't okay. stick, yeah. It's not sticky. It's like not right after yeah. it stops being tacky. Yep. Okay. Right there. Yeah. I mean, you're in my favorite number right now, so I think you're going to get the best results. I'm going to try to pull like this. What number was that? 88. I should have, yeah, actually, yeah, I brought some of it out. It's subtle. And, and here's the other side of doing these, like, these complex dents and that are more than a few hours. You have to pay attention. I find it's best if we pay attention to our little victories, like small victories, because you don't always see a lot of progress no. uh, right away. But like something like as deep as these were, remember yeah. how deep they were, and they really are. We're bringing in the bottoms out slowly but surely. Yeah, that's you good. See in the, in the, uh, monitor. Yeah, you know that is a good tip to have that self-talk. You know, to yeah. yourself, like oh, mm -hmm. it's so easy to start beating yourself up. You're right there, and you know. Now, would you would you that? Would you start maybe mini lifting some of this right here? Maybe get some of that. Or maybe you do. What would you do? I'm thinking that's what I would probably end up doing. But would you still slide hammer? I'll tell you why I like using the slide hammer because the slide hammer is kind of working to be better with the, our lateral tension here. For one thing, the mini lifter would be cumbersome working around this. Uh, the other issue is that I feel like it works along the lines of bringing the whole panel out. And the, remember, because it wasn't just these deep dense it was a big wave all around it so i want to bring the whole wave out as well so yeah i got i got i, I guess i misunderstood like we're, we're saying, i would have removed this and then and so, so. i feel like if we do that and we can try that if you like i feel like if we do that then we're we're isolating just this dent and that's where i used to run into trouble when i would just go back and push Or maybe like, I would fix this and it would look okay, yeah. you know, but then I'd still have these this halo effect way yeah. down there. Yeah. So that's, that's such a scary Yeah, you know? I hear just chasing it because those things just keep moving on you. Turns you really can't way. see in this in this shot right here, but it does have a slight bow. Okay, so it's kind of yeah. like this. Look at this it's side. It's not like this. Like this yeah. bow like that. So it's, we're, Brandon and I are, are paying close attention to it, it could give way at any moment, so we're watching it. And in the meantime, I'm trying to get the slide hammer to shock this whole area here, starting with the body line. So we, we've got this the, the lower part below the body line is workable with the tool. Yeah. Okay, but before we go and do that, let me try to shock some of this to kind of reduce it. Also, again, putting a wide footprint on the, the dent, not just in the, the center. Oh, here, can we have some talk? I put my greasy fingers all over oh, here. I'm sure you guys can see this little screen over here. 
I'm not sure. How well did this work for you, Joe? Did you see? Did this? Did you notice that this worked? Uh, what, what we, oh, that, that yeah. worked great. Yeah, good. That worked great. Because we didn't really focus on it, dude. You know too much. Yeah, it doesn't. It, it's kind of an unsung hero because you don't ever see it in the videos. You know, I, you have to pan backwards to show that. You know, kind of like the perfect pull thing here, or, or any of your anchoring devices. They don't. They don't get right there in the middle of the pair. It definitely works. How much was that? Ooh, I think it was about a hundred bucks. Oh, that's, that's not bad. bad. Yeah, I, Shoot. I, I, okay. I could be wrong. Either. All right. A hundred bucks. Right. I don't and even look at those. That's the companion. Honestly, if it tool works, it shouldn't matter how much it is. <laughs> You're right. gonna save your. Yeah. You're gonna save. It you makes make money. you more than the cost of the tool. Then it was worth it. Like I said, if you think about tools that are you're investing in yourself and your company, you, it's a win. But if you keep thinking that you're just spending money, then I don't know how. Every one of them. Where's your lost. temperament on that, dude? You know. Here we go. Yeah. Got some stretch on that little guy. Yeah. Guy. Man, it's almost like I want you to like just set up more than one and just start going up the ladder, dude. Yeah, I know you're getting antsy. <laughs> Don't get it. Did it move it? Yeah, it moved it for it's sure. A it, the, huh? It's a little bit of a high right beside the, the crease. Yeah, but it moved it though. It's okay. taking tension off where we want. Try real quick here. I told you guys it's a marathon. We're going on four hours right now. And for our next act, folks, <laughs> Trey Lewis. Yeah, that's right. You've been around watching them all the whole time. <laughs> that's how you know. <laughs> and you remember the day you come out with the cigarette, dude? Was, didn't he? Wasn't he the first one that came out with Nutty Professor? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He was yeah. the original one. Yeah. He was Nutty Professor. Okay. I mean, I remember watching that movie as a kid. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're getting off track here. Right. Ooh, that's already pulling just on that. Like, then you just pull tension like that. Yeah. Okay. Dang. Dang. Yeah. You got a high for sure. You got, I think you got a lot of that, that low out that you wanted, Joe. Let's see. It was pulling, it was pulling high and to the right. Oh, yes. Good oh, job. You know. Damn. Good. It did pull. So for some reason, even though I'm going right to the center of the crease, it's pulling off to the side. And that could be because of our bracelets back there. Like one of the, uh, one of the viewers commented on, what about when the brace is glued? to the, the inner inside the panel and that could be what we're experiencing right now is that it's holding it in down there so it's pulling off the side anybody have an idea of what that degree was at that pole right there uh we didn't heat it so oh you didn't heat it so okay. check it right now uh, brandon what's the temperature of it because whatever it's at right now yeah it's a, and, and we're still at 89. Yeah. so you're about, I'd say like high 80s. That's about where it's at. Low 90s, high 80s. Yeah, so 80s. somebody actually. Further away from the panel, on another panel, yeah, like 86 is our ambient. Someone said they want to see it at 90, 95 and see what it would do. So I. Yeah, that's what he was. You were using the Kiwi, weren't you? Kiwi slide hammer? Is that what you're using? Yep. What are you using? Then, yeah, uh, that's what he's using. Yeah. Let me see that. Let me see that.
This is one of the heaviest slide hammers you can purchase right now. Huge drive, really good for uh, for doing exactly what Joe is doing, using and cold glue. Okay, so you really want to. Hold on, guys. I want to talk over it. Anyway. Hold on, let me, let me talk this. This, one more time. This is a heavier slide hammer. Uh, this is what Joe, how much is this? Like five, how, is this five pounds? Dude? No, I, I think it's probably two and a half pounds. It is not two and a half pounds. Yeah, it's not five. It ain't, it ain't I, need a, I need a five. Very well enough. Dude, this is not, this is not two pounds. It's heavy. I wish it was heavier. Yeah. This nice sucker pounds. is heavier. Heavy. This is that one of the heaviest slide hammers I've used. That's why I got it. I couldn't find a, a heavier one. For it. Well, you, you, can, you could do your muscles and you could pull dance at the same time, but not for skinny pediatrics. You just won't pull it because you, you won't be able to get in the chopper. <laughs> All right, man. So back into the dance. Okay. So I was just telling Brandon. I want to see where that brace is in relation to our crease there. So I think that might be hindering our, our pulleys. Maybe it's making our pulleys kind of pull off from the side. Okay, Barry says it's six pounds, dude. Really? Yeah, that sucker's heavy, dude. You can pick it up. And I thought the ones that, this is the one where you can screw in the extra weight, right? No. No, pick it out up, dude. That sucker's heavy, bro. Yeah, that's not as good. How do I believe Barry's not even that? That's not two and a half. No, and then with the, everything on the end, like, I think it's more than seven as well. Uh, one thing about this too, I forgot to mention too, so you can, you, you, you can, it has a horseshoe, right? And then if you unscrew it, right, then you can switch it to a pass-through. And then you just tighten it down. And you're good to go. Six pound slide hammer. This sucker's heavy. Gonna push? No, I just want to see where the brace is in relation to where we're at. Yeah, it's uh. Yeah, it's near the upper portion of that. That like I wanted. I can get feel it with this tool. I can get to like I almost get the top. top. I can get all of it. I get. I get up. The, the brace is right here. Yeah. And that makes sense why the crease came here because yeah. the brace goes right here. I'm not trying to push the, the pin out right now because uh, obviously it's going to slide around with that. But that just gives me some uh, sort of this perspective uh, <laughs> to be able to see where. La da di da da da. Dang, no, no. Six pounds, okay. Thanks, Gary, by the way. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, since we have no more likes right now, uh, we're just going to go ahead and cut it out, and then we're going to finish it and not show the rest, okay? So, see you later. I'm just I'm <laughs> Give some likes. Give some likes. Give us uh, give us some feedback. Let us know what you think. Uh, we're definitely going on a marathon here, and but it's all coming out well. Going out, going, going super good. Man, tough dent, dude. I, I haven't seen it change anymore. Okay. So, I just don't want it to go far. All the pushing. Likes, likes, likes. I think it's important. That Thanks, I guys. I think it's going to make the push a little easier. We are almost we got, there. Uh, four or something on there. This is where we're at right now. We are actually, the hard part is pretty much, we're past one of the hard parts. 
you can see there's a crease right above the, uh, between underneath that tension bar right there. So we are making some good progress there. Uh, just, I think Joe is just trying to just get as much tension as he can out before he starts pushing. Don't be mean, Mike. I know you go messing around, dude. So y'all are pros. Thank you for putting this information out. Thanks, James. Appreciate you. Yep. It ain't always going to be a wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Type of what's this, Joe? This is an R6 an ultra double bend changeable dip tool with a one inch extension. Wait a minute. Well, hold on a second. So you're not going to push? You're not going to put any cap on that, or you are going to put? I am going. I'm just going to show how I how I put a little bit of cushion. Oh. So I was discussing with Brandon. Um, our body line is almost where it needs to be, and I really think that if we can bring the body line right in here. Just where it needs to be uh, completely, it's going to help us with the rest of this bend. And uh, we can start, we can from there decide if we want to still slide hammer or go with mini lifter, like you had said, Mike, yeah. or if we push the rest up. So um, I, on camera, I wanted to show what I do with these ball tips or something like this. I do want a little bit of cushion on there. I also try to get away from scratching the inside of the panel anymore with metal. And sometimes it's not always possible to. to scratching it but uh you know in a case like this i don't think we really need to use anything sharp at this point no or metal on metal um you know those times when we do i like to use some kind of coating on the inside of course cavity wax uh, from body shop supply stores and they have to come with these really cool nozzles that go right down into the into the uh the brace window channel or or into any kind of hole and will spray like a fan spray on the inside of the door. You kind of have to protect the glass if there's glass in there, you know, and you know, make sure you're not getting it all over the glass. But now, are you, a little messy. are you taping with Tessa tape? Is that yes, what you're using? Tessa tape, yeah. Now, why not gaffer's tape? Just curious. Are you planning uh, to put a lot of heat on it? Is that what you're doing? Or to me, this is, this is my go-to because it's just super durable. And it's very predictable. I used to use gaffer's tape, duct tape, uh, electrical tape. And it just would wear through too quickly for my liking. So uh, I still want to put a window guard in there because there is, you know, no there's straight up against metal. Yeah, I don't want to be prying against anything. Well, yeah, well, there you go. It's right there. Yeah. Try and do this without getting in the way of the camera. You're good. I'm just kind of pushing around to see where my tip is at. My target is right here, right on the body line. This is where he helps. You may have noticed I put that extension on, and that just gives me a little more leverage because remember, we don't have any glass in there. So a little further away from the dent and we're more perpendicular rather than now you're below the body lines are you trying to push i think uh, i think i'm gonna have to move joe you get in your position we'll get around your right. position how's that okay, okay. Want a shorter tool? Yeah, Thank you. 
you up. We're pretty close. So Joe's going to use this one because it gives him more. He's not reaching so high up, so we got a shorter one. This is a 18 inch, right? We got a quick release. This one handle is from Ultra, and if you notice, it clicks on, right? Now you can spin it. You can also pop it off. You can make it a T handle. This one's Ultra, okay? Again, quick release and ratchet built in, and you can put. You can put uh, balls on the end of it. It comes with that too as well. Um, but yeah, I, we like it. You can add more extension too as well. And then the other one I use is a Gorilla Grip one, which is from the A1 tool Anson line. Okay, so there you go. Front front I like it. What up, Don? Don Cavanaugh is on, dude. What's up, Don? How are you, sir? Um, Hugo says, do we still need that lateral? Yes, it does help, Hugo. So that's why we still have it on there. Okay. Where are you pushing at, Joe? Just curious. I'm trying to get the body line. Okay. All right. Let's yeah, make, I'm making sure we're, we're, we're in the right yeah. spot for you. Okay. It's about where it needs to be. And that's a great question, Hugo. Yeah, we are still uh, taking advantage of having that lateral pool because it also helps our pushes, it makes our pushes more, much more effective. If we practically start pushing the rest out. I still like the idea of slide hammering things, though, because again, to address any of those waves. Can you see? Don says, he said, so cool. He hasn't tried this yet. I, I thought you would have tried that one by now, Dono. Uh, we were talking about your blending. You missed uh, our, our Joe's blending skills, dude. We were, uh, we were talking about you, though. One of the best group, uh, excuse me, one of the best blending hammer guys in the industry. Don Key. Don I really got to see Don do a body line, all body line on a BMW, dude, in person. I was blown away, dude. I was like, wow, dude. And it was sharp. And he started with a metal, ta a metal just hammer. Just like, ting, 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 ting. He was like a little elf on it, dude. Like, ting, 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 ting. It's hard. Am I in the way of the camera? No. You're, you're above now, huh? Don says he would have just blended this out in five minutes. He didn't say that, dude. He, he, although he's probably thinking that. I know he's joking around. Oh, I know. I bet guys are watching. Oh, really? I, I see. I'll, yeah, so it's funny. So funny. You have their way to do it, right? Absolutely. But really, I think, be honest with yourself. How much time would you spend in the end going, shit? I should have. Shit dude, that looks juicy, dude. Hey, just hey, listen. We'll go around you, bro. We'll move around you, Joe. Right here, I'm on camera, Ooh, nice push, nice push. How's it cooperating, Joe? It's responding very well. Yeah, right. That's what it looks like. I don't want to get too eager though on this either, because uh, I don't want to be all greedy. Yes. 
I, I like the way you do it. It's like you're probing around, just seeing what, it's, what it's going to give you, right? Like right away. Yeah, I'm also looking for the tip around. You were just above it, so. Yeah, it, I mean, I, yeah, I'm kind of probing around. I think I'm going to put a little bit more tape and a longer extension. Because again, without the glass in there, you want to go yes. this way? Continue this way, and then uh, I might actually. Are we still reading this? Because I can get this out of the way. I think we're benefiting from that. Yeah, the totally lower tension pool with the perpendicular there. I'm, I'm really impressed with how uh, how long that's been holding. So we've been, in case you join us, we've used the perfect pole at the beginning. Uh, we didn't have it set up the correct way. At least we didn't. We thought we did, and then it didn't. You know, have enough. Uh, leverage so then we jacked up the car we had a barely enough room to put it on the frame right there as you can see that it's that's what's holding that perfect pull keeping it from moving anywhere as we hold tension and then you see the lateral tension across we had a double one set up in the beginning so you'll have a chance to see how that goes and how we set it up and then uh yeah it's, it's been it's been a challenging repair uh, until we started really getting it dialed in for the leverage and tension so Let's see here. You should see some Brazilian guys blending with ten dollar hammers. They are something. I know. I know. Hugo. They are. They are legit. Actually, uh, another guy I know. He's really good at blending. He's Brazilian. Somebody's Don Kavanaugh. Don, I don't know why you don't do more live videos, dude live blending videos or i'll have to fly dawn out here dude yeah, huh? dude, I'm, I'm there. dude he is he is like amazing dude like, and i'm not saying because he's my friend dude i, mean, I literally is yeah. a very good yeah. blending tech as as well as shane the, yeah, i'm only speaking for who i've seen dawn, uh, another brazilian guy i've seen that uh he wins a couple he wins a couple of dental olympics here and there yeah, and he's super, super humble. <laughs> this is Coke. Don't know why my name ain't showing up. Coke. Cole. Oh, I was like, who's <laughs> Coke? I'm like, Coke. Cole Fox. Now, nah, oh. That's another great hail tech, though, dude. Did you see? Uh, I was so I went to my. I had a uh, event, right, called the Mega Media Events, and Cole Fox, one of the one of the biggest ones we went to, we had was at Cole Fox's shop, and uh, he had this Mustang that was just tore uh, hail damage, dude. And he put a line down the middle of it and fixed half of it. Lasted, dude, and the left side's obliterated. And he would use that that Mustang as a like a before and after. Yeah, a lot like, and it was like uh, amazing, dude. I was like, holy shit, dude. So he'd park yeah. at the malls and stuff like that. That's awesome. Still sweating, dude. That bottom's looking legit, dude. Because nice. that was the sharp part. Bro. Those last couple of pushes that you made, like. Let me know, dude. I'll talk to you. Get in there. Brandon says he wants to jump on yeah, that. Dude. Finish it, dude. Wow. So. <laughs> yeah, you did, dude. Like, you did the hard ass part. Dude. The butter part? I feel like this is the hard part. Dude, the crease behind that. Tension is yeah is hard. Maybe we because uh, that that could I'll be honest with you, yo. I'm not I'm gonna I'm not gonna jinx this, but that is that's oil can territory, bro. Yeah. I don't feel like taking this door off the car and doing the power Pierre box. Not today, dude. I'm like, well, I'm gonna I'll tell you what, <laughs> taking the door off. Would make for a much more comfortable repair to do the rest of the pushing, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. Part part of the challenge right now is pushing this den out 
not being in the way of the camera. But um, but I think that um, the other thing I meant to say is that the body line creates rigidity where those deep dents were. So that actually is helping us keeping it from oil cam. If those yeah. Dense, no, I agree. In the flat pane of the metal. Yeah. Th that's a good point. A lot, uh, more susceptible. That's a hell of a good point. I mean, yeah. honestly, I, I, if I'm going to attack this, I'm actually going to put the thing just a little bit closer. Uh, well, I can't most attention. Why don't we do that so we can push? Why don't we do that because they're about to give way anyway. Yeah. Okay. They've been on yeah. there for a while. All right. Mm -hmm. And then we can we can try out a different. You know, okay, got it. Oh, Charles, thanks, dude. Well, both those bikes used to be mine. The, the orange one is no longer mine. It is branded right there. So he actually, he did some way more modifications than I had it, dude. But it's not too far off looks-wise, but he did, did a lot of mechanical stuff to it. So, yeah. And, and I, I, my, my bike... The newer one is on the left, which is the Harley. So that's what I ended up doing is getting a Harley after that. Uh, Razul Zawa. Oh, sorry. I'm just out back and click on it. I was like, what, what is that? He just... So we reset it. Let me show you guys what it looks like raw on camera. That's a little dark. Sorry, guys. But yeah, it's still a nice... Half moon. I was not a half moon, maybe a quarter moon. Yeah, yeah. I would be. I would probably be pushing here, getting this back up here. And then, like you said, a little closer tension, and that's going to prevent that oil cap. Yeah. Look the, uh, light. Well, it's uh, it, if I do it like this, it's kind of dark, but you yeah. can still see it. But yeah, that's you see what I mean? Like this is the yeah. Well, now what it looks like is like the crease above looks the worst. Yeah, yeah. Dude. So remember the body line was the worst. We're still holding that tension on the lower part of the door. So now we got some low, we got a little tension right below the low. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. No, hey, God made dirt, dirt don't hurt. Yeah. Now, but it was like one of those things that's like catching a knife, like, nah. I'll yep. pick it up off the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 When we were first going <laughs> back in the day, we had a, like, one of my, my techs was with me. And, and uh, before, it was a, those glue guns that you had to plug in your car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? Those, yeah. And so, you're like, so he would, he would pull it. And I, I, it was so dull. I, I don't know why we didn't use Hester's car. I forgot. But I was like 25 feet away from it. So he get the tab, put it on, and put way too much, right? And he's walking, and it would just pour over him yeah. and burn his finger, yeah. out, right? And then he would, what do you do? His first reaction was take it and pull it, right? Uh, and he ripped the skin off. Yep. I was yep. laughing my ass off. Dude, yeah. He was oh. angrily mad, yes. dude, for like oh, yeah. an hour. Dude, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. You know? Yep, no, we've all done it. First shot. 
PDR, what's up, fellas? Watching while eating at a late lunch. The repair looking good. Yeah, we haven't even had a we didn't even get a chance to have a late lunch yet. Joe's working us. <laughs> yeah. Then, so you have the right to rest. So you don't. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Because why would you want to like? Eh. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's our right of passage into blue polling. Yeah. That's also your. It's a, one of the clubs you'll be joining. So, one of the few clubs that you'll be joining if you're a new PDR tech, okay? And maybe you're, you're a veteran PDR tech and you haven't joined one of these clubs, but you will. And basically, no clubs you really want to join, okay? So it's it's the Burn burn Your Skin Club, Pull Paint Club, Break a Window Club. What's the other one? Yeah. Um, I'm a member of all of them. Yeah, I, I know. I'm, like, like, I'm not going to tell you which yeah, one, but I'm a, I'm a platinum member of a couple I, of them, dude, okay? Know. Do they send me a black card, dude? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interest free, dude. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So those are some of the, some of the clubs that you'll join, but you don't really you don't want to join these clubs or become a platinum member. <laughs> Hopefully, you have a uh, have a great breakfast, dude. Oh, you can see the bottom flexing, dude. Tension on the feet, like like someone was mentioning. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So yeah, be careful. Yeah, be careful. So is that enough tension there? I think that's perfect. Yeah. Right. I just want to try myself. I just want to feel that. Well. Okay. I feel like I should switch. We should switch sides. You you want to try pushing first and see if we get it. I used to be scared of you. Dude. <laughs> so we're gonna flip. We're gonna flip sides in a bit, but I'm gonna see if Joe wants to test the waters and see if um, if this dent wants to cooperate. And we're playing pretzel right here. We're, Twister. Oh, dude, that looks like it wants to just. Oh, dude, it looks. How's it feel though, Joe? It, it on camera it looks like it's moving like butter, dude. 
definitely is responding well. Ooh, well, nice. I think that's so important. People, if you're watching this, I mean, you see how close we have it between the crease and it's what we're really trying to do. We're not just putting it there but just to show, show it. We're doing it to prevent oil canning because this is an oil can scenario. This would oil can if you are too aggressive with your pushes. I'm not saying we're out of the woods, but this is, this is why we're using it. Am I the way? No, you you're not. No. Hugo, I haven't had a chance. I don't think there's any glue there, I, but I'll double check that for you in a minute. So. Joe's really trying to release that last, that, that tight low that was above the body line, because if he doesn't release enough of that, it will actually cause more tension going up into the dent. So if that makes sense, okay? Yeah, I'm tempted to go up into that crease. We're yeah, very yeah. We gotta get this area under control. Exactly. That's what I was saying to the audience who was watching because yep. I know they're thinking the same thing, Joe, that, oh, man, let's just walk right up there real quick. Yep. You know what I mean? Oh, and yeah. that's how you oil can stuff, dude. We're adding uh, rigidity to that body line. Right, right. And the area is just below it and above it. And just imagine working this with the glass in it. We'd be scared to crack the glass. Brandon, it's going pretty good, dude. And you can see Joe pushing straight on that dent with a with an double R6. bend soft tip, right? Yep, R6. R6. Not, actually, you taped, you're tape, you taped the raw ball tip on yeah, there. Yeah, it's metal, round ball, R6, um, and it's got some tape on it. Okay. Dang, that thing looks like it's coming out clean, dude. Right. Body line's looking funny. That's good. A little hard for me to see at this angle. Wait, we can switch, dude. We can switch sides. This is almost uh, like, you know how the Dent Wizard guys work upside down? Yeah. It's yeah. Well, no, it's like, that's why they work upside down. Because you can see at eye level, and then... Uh, Still yeah. have leverage. Vince does that. He used to. Yep. I was watching. Vince, and, uh, Chris Brown and Steve yeah. Brown. One leg up. Yeah, right. Oh, really? And then they get yeah. up and they're all red. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I'm like, get that. You can get that chair right there. Right. Well, that's <laughs> the beauty of working the door off of the car. But uh, they, 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 they do have it again because there's some times where I have nothing, no choice but to bend it over. Yeah. And yeah. Look, look over and around. I was ready. Okay, so you want I'll switch sides with you, Joe. Okay. Right. Oh, let me let me get that money shot. Sorry. That. Yeah, that's, that's a good shot. Yeah. Nice job, Joe. Thanks. It's still holding up in there, but it's a lot more shot. So we we were showing that shot, uh, we're doing tension, off tension, you can see it. Mm -hmm. We're releasing tension, Brandon. Mm -hmm. We'll switch sides, so we'll bring this out, switch the camera, you guys can go right over here, okay. and then we can work the opposite angle. Okay. I can't wait to think about like good cordless cordless feeds. We're almost ready to remove that perfect pole. So. Okay. So, is that tension bar for sale? All right. Yes, it is. It's on KikoTabs.com. You can go buy that now. I think it's about, how much was that? Was that tension, tension bar? Oh, oh the, uh, that thing that's on the door. Oh, this right here, how much was it? Yeah. I want to say like 300 bucks. I think it's around 260. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. Like, I wasn't sure, but yeah, you were at close to it. Between 260 and 300 dollars. 
it has been worth it. It's been doing its job. What? So this is the first time you actually have to use it. What yeah. do you think? Yep, I love it. I love it. I, I use, I have one uh, also, and I, it the day I got it, I got the Oculus Quest Two, and I had to make shift a uh, carpenter. Uh, you call it the clamp. Yeah. 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 So I just clamp. hadn't really taken the time to read it and see yeah. how it works. I, I really like the way it works. Dude, it almost looks. I mean, you're going to this side. This might be able to tie it in. From the, from the tension? Oh, yeah, just a tiny bit. Not crazy. Yeah. No. It, it, there was a certain shot where you get just a little bit. Yeah. Nobody would notice it except us. Before. We're the only ones that are going to notice it with, with the line. Yeah, exactly. Once we take that away, yeah, from back here, it's a lot, you can tell it's a lot more. But, yeah. All right, let's let the dog see the rabbit, as Casper would say. You know where Casper? 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 Oh, she brought us lunch. Thank you so much. Hey, um, Dad, I got you the pad pad. And then I don't know what everyone wants, so I just got the. You're not coming Thank you. That's good. Thanks, Mary. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Here we go. That looks, that looks money. I would. Uh, I'm going to catch you. Here's the side of the okay. He just wants your opinion about uh, a dent. Thanks, Mary. Uh -huh. Bye. So, you have to get in there. Let me get my foot, my shot. Let me make sure it's on there. You want to push it all? You want to? I can. I don't matter. Joe's doing a great job. Go for it, Joe says he's doing a good job. I, hey, you know what? I'm good with. I think it's very much uh, manageable now. You know, the body lines up, and the pits, the deepest parts of the dent, are, have been reduced substantially. Substantially. Now, I'm more of a Joe's more of a. He's got a, uh, and I call it. I call. I call your style. Kung Fu, dude. You know what I mean? You're like Tai Chi. You know what I mean? You're like it's fluid. I mean, I'm like the drunken master, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll push here, push there. Oh, you dude, know? I've been that guy too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, but I'm, I'm there, so it's not as right. fluid yeah. as, as, as Joe. You still get the job done. But, but I get the job done. Right? Uh, but, but I don't teach that way. I teach people to be have more control. Yeah. But I will give them my style, but not. But I don't want you to copy the whole style. I want you to develop your own. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, sorry. I've been the drunken master too <laughs> many times, and uh, it it doesn't result in a very clean repair. I feel like you know. Um, no, you can't. You, you have to like, know when yeah. to drunken master it. And yeah. When to yeah. get rid of that. And yeah. Like wake up, get sober up. Shall I say? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, so what do you want to do? Can you see the look at the, the TV screen, like the bot, the computer screen? How's it look? It looks good. We're right on the money. So okay. I think. Uh, I don't want to get in my own way. Either, so. You're not in the way. I'll let you know if you are. So what do you? What is your game plan here, Mike? I was going to just test the waters here, but also see some tension still here. Okay. okay. And um, and we just switched the light too, so we're seeing things now in this from this angle that we couldn't see from the other side. I, so, I would like to have a little more extension. Just okay. Slip, slip, slip. Yeah. In case you guys are wondering what tool we're using. Oh, let me take a look at that. Can you feel that, like, wedge? I'm looking for it. Let me take a look at that. Someone wanted to know if there was any glue on the, on the brace. I don't think yeah. it is. Yeah. So it's just, uh, it's, uh, but there probably is. I feel like it is. No, it's a double brace, though. Double toe. So just want to let you guys know. Did it? Yeah. 
What are you looking for? Oh yeah, it's very, it's like barely a foam on the yeah. Super thin, but not affecting our, it's not like the thick, dense blue balls. Oh, back to what we're doing here. Nice shot. Yeah, you're good. Around too, but it's weird. I can't get That looks good, Brandon. So I think you're running into what I'm running into what you were doing. Like you can't find your tool. It feels like there's something on it, but it doesn't look good. You might be bumping into the brace, Mike, because the brace is to the left of the the crease and the, and where the dent's at. This I can get to go here. I just can't. It's weird. I have to use a sharper or a thinner tool to get to that part. Is there a way you can get around that brace perpendicular? Or maybe, uh, or maybe bring the tool back this way? Oh yeah. yeah. Um, we want to set. Tip tool. You know what, my money? Yeah, or one of those, yeah, like, see up there hanging? One of uh, Anton's to the right, straight ahead of you. The tequila blades. No, one next to two, four, 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 four over. Yeah, one of those. Oh, Short ones. Yeah. Hey, Mike, how's, how is your microphone working? Because uh, Hugo, yeah. Hugo, Hugo says that your mic isn't working. Mine is it? It's, it says nice audio only near to the camera. Oh, that that was a while ago. How long? Ago? Oh, was it? Uh, that was uh, two fifty. It's three minutes ago. Was it? Yeah. Because I'm looking at the audio. See the audio? Okay. One, two. Oh, right here. Yeah. I'll take that one. Uh, Hugo, go, go, go to number one, camera one, please. Hugo, if you're still watching, uh, let us know how Mike's microphone is sounding. Go with this one. Don, Don Kavanaugh says, Joe's ninja style. They have a dance after you. <laughs> <laughs> camera two, please. Joe, camera two. Oh, camera two. Uh, so let's see if our PTA is here. I'm not going to give you a mistake right now. It's a lighting. I think we have better luck the other way. I, I think you could be right, dude. This is uh, it's what we run into with PDR. And don't forget, we can take that door off. No, no. All right, I don't like this angle. Yeah, you try. You want to try? Yeah. Joe, you confirm too. So it's not letting me. Am my audio still messed up? Sound is fine, someone said. Because you're having to go underneath that brace to get to the. Huh? And then it kicks the tool over. Well, you're not getting the leverage you want. So I think the other side's going to go. I'll just work around you or me, and we'll go from that side. Because it's, I think it, the brace is more farther over to the left side than it is towards the... It's hard to run into because you're trying to twist. Yeah. And you're bumping into the brace. Bumping into it, I'm not getting on it. So where I was going from... Oh, damn. Getting... Are you way low? You dropped you're it low, huh? You're bumping it up. Are you... Be care, careful, just don't, 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 uh, there's, to, there's no brace, I mean, there's no tape on there, dude, so. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, you... I'm just not used to these handles, but I'm going underneath that one, and then coming up.
was able to get to that bottom part. Great. Damn, dude. You're serious. getting to it. Yeah, you're getting to there. Keep going. Wait, Put some tape on it, dude. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with the bit of tape. I would, I would either like it to be just a little bit longer. Joey, try it. You try to take a shot on maybe it. Maybe the T-handle style. But yeah, it's, it's getting right I'm on it. I'm generally... I'm just right on the, at the bottom. Yeah, and then here's what I'm doing. I'm going to cut up this guy right here. There you go. That's the position. See where I'm at underneath that brace? Plus you're sliding up the brace. Yeah, exactly. And then that's why I'm coming in at that angle so that I can kick up to get that upper section. But going from underneath the brace first, I'm you can get right to the bottom of it. We're almost there. It was nasty, that dude. You know what I mean? Like two more inches would be cool. What do you think, Joe? You want to push from the other side, or we will push from the other side? Yeah, 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 that's good. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I was trying to get, but for the see first stop tip. See if that one will get in there. Yeah. It gives us another whole other angle to work. I'll have to see if it's a little more comfortable in there. Freaking starving. Dude. <laughs> You're like, I'm ready. If one of our mics dies, then that gives us an excuse to take a break. <laughs> yeah, you're on it, Joe. You're definitely there. I'm still mindful of our blue caps, our, our tension. It looks like we're holding really well down against the lower body. Yeah. And our battle with the holding knife. Good leverage. Control. I, I like those tools. Is that one called the double shot? Yeah. 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 What do you make this one? That actually, that's not the double shot. That is the like the double shot blade. Yeah, you're right. Double shot blade. The other one just has a yeah. the sharper. Yes. Tip. That's Anson. Yeah. No, I, I I like that one. I think that's a really good tool. Yeah, we're metal on metal right now. I'm gonna move the light. Anybody have? It? I didn't feel. Any kind of, I mean, I, I didn't see any kind of indication that it was going to hold oil can, dude. I thought it was going to be, I thought it was pushing fine. Dude. All of the, yeah, all of the pushes that I made, I, it I didn't, didn't feel, feel like stretching, like you know what I mean? Yeah, no, it's And the great. reason why is because of that tension that's yep. on there that's actually preventing that from being, because when you don't have the tension on there, it, you're just going back and forth. Yeah. That's all you're doing is pushing back and forth. Force, you know force pushing forward and back. It, I've done a couple of times. I've done it on hoods. Is uh, I'll take the uh, the big suction cup from my umbrella, and then just suction cup it either underneath or right next to where I'm working oh, yeah, that's a good idea, yeah. to tighten it up. Yeah. Now it's gonna make it look. It's not gonna make it look flat. It's gonna be all like wavy, and then as long as you can work that section within wherever it is on the wave, and then release the pressure, you'll see it flatten back up, and then okay, all right. But it does make it look all weird. I think this is a this is a, a, a better um, option. But if you're in a pinch, you can jump. You get on that position. I change the direction. Yeah, reverse. So on the use of directions technique, going up under the brace, this split up nicely into the brace to get into that. Deep part of the tent still here, and now I can't quite get up all the way to here. So I'm going to see if I can, because that's the other side of the brace. Let's see if the perpendicular push my other 
Uh, are we going to go for a record? No, we did 11 hours. There's no way we're going to break that record. Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Unless something goes 11 hours total. It's 11 hours, wasn't it, Joe? I would say, what percentage do you think this dents out right now? Well, I would say maybe 50%. Not, not, not enough to walk away from No, heck no. I'd say we're over 50%. I would say yeah. probably the 60% range. Yeah, I was going to guess 65. As long as that, that, that dent wants to stay, hold it up. Yeah, I'm trying to get Joe. I would just freaking, you guys are nutty. I would go the other way. What's that? I got this one of their techniques called drilling. Yeah. I still got that three quarter inch. That's why I was like, we were talking, we were talking about getting low like the dent was these. I'm like, oh, dude, I got something for that too. I can get as low as I need to. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's it. That's the ringtone right there. <laughs> just, Joe's, Joe's not going to allow it to. He's not going to allow us to do it. Not so, at this point. Not on my watch. Listen, we tried <laughs> earlier. He said, so, <laughs> you might want to hurt your reputation, but I ain't hurt mine. <laughs> we, might, we might have gotten him into doing it, you know, five hours ago, but there's no way that Joe's going to let us. No remanufacturing at this point. Yeah. Let's switch it. Switch sides. Okay. You had really good success that way. Both, all of actually, I didn't get a chance to push that way. They didn't have to be efficient. You were just concerned being on the way. You were just concerned being on the way. Yeah. Okay. 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 Come on, let's talk to the rabbit. Is this your go to? Yeah, it is. For, for perpendicular cooking, for body lines too. Uh, you know, like chain lid handles, you like it with a stationary handle on that one? I like how uh, stable it is. Yeah, no, no play. No play. You know, I'd like to get another one the same. It's a custom length. That's a, that's a good length. That's a good length. Yeah, that's a good length. That's the one that has the baby blue handle. Yeah, I you guys that be struggle from that area. You guys are naughty. I'm doing all, dude. Like, well, I can still take the door off, man. Because so I can push from this side, I can push from the other side. <laughs> there is a huge thing with branching. Can you pull this leg out? That's all we have Camera two. Camera two. Can you see it? Oh yeah, right dead center, man. You're good. Yeah, it's coming out, man. That body line's starting to look real. 
like a body line again. I agree, Hugo. Only cheese has holes. Swiss cheese, baby. I've made my fair share of Swiss cheese. I'm trying to change my weight. Dude, this tension? Money, right? Yeah, that, that little, that's the uh, MVP. Tip from, uh, you like it, you know? Cool. That's looking really clean, Mike. Dude, I, I'm going to be honest with you, that tension going across it, I'm glad you wanted to keep it on there because it's definitely making a difference. Yeah. But yeah. So, Joe, here's, I want you to try this one. Are you going to try it? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Slides like one of the nope. swivel tips. Nope. Where's your R4? And I'll give you this. I'll give you one too. R4. Is that what it is? Another R4 cap? Yeah, it's like a, it's, it's basically, it'll go on your R4. Let me go to switch the, to these guys right here. So if you guys are looking for a new tip for your R4, this one right here from Anson, it is money. It is, it's, it's thicker. And it's going to last quite a while, too, as well. So Ultra has a thick one, too, as well. That's freaking money. Yeah, this one's a little bit more precise, one. precision. So try that one, okay? Yeah, you want me to do? I can cut the tape off. So watch when Joe starts pushing. You can see how much movement he's going to make without creating poke marks. And the sucker stays on too. And so they don't wear through real quick. <laughs> Not that I know. Uh, I guess it's only one way to find out. Like I haven't it's experienced that yet. Tough, tough. Lift that handle up for me. Ugh. Okay, got it. Dude. Let's find out. Try it. Here we go. And you said this is an Anson tip or edgy? Yes. It does look like an edgy. So the color. Did yeah. you see it, the camera? I'll show you towards it. Yeah. Oh, I got to switch the camera. Sorry, do it again. <laughs> switch? Uh, I'll switch it, yeah. All right, here we go. So this is uh, from Hanson? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like a uh, trout bait. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Dude, that dent's coming out nice, dude. I mean, it's the whole dent. Oh, I like that. I think I'm going to have to put an extension down. I know I put your... I, took, I gave your extension back, did I not? Uh, I think so, but I got one right now. Again, we have that glass out. Lots of room for perpendicular pushes, at least on this side of the brace. But I like the control that that blade tip had on that double shot that coming under the, uh, the brace there. Yeah, yeah. I, could, I think that helped. Uh, Is that too soft for you? It should be a firm soft, dude. It's, I think it's good. I just don't want to wear through it. No, I got more, even right. if you do. I don't think you're going to wear through it, Joe. You know what's good about that tip though is like you can put it's gonna give you a still maybe a eighth of an inch to almost a little bit more than that cushion. So yeah. you're not just gonna go bust right through it. You're gonna go about it, they're gonna start to get a little bit more uh, flat topped hard every time. Yeah. And as you can see, if you didn't have it, if you had it taped and the tape went through, then you're sliding, you're snail trailing, right? So this gives you a chance to kind of grip it, the panel a little bit. Little bit of a slide to it though, in a good way, allowing me to kind of drag enough slide. You mean, just, yeah, yeah, a little bit of drag. I just want to do a quick little inspection here, make sure we're not wearing all the way through. 
Is it wearing? No, I was in the like Brandon said, we don't want an unpleasant surprise. If that thing goes poking through it, I don't mind replacing tips, but I just got a little bit of a bad push. I like to keep those to a minimum, but not always possible, especially as fatigue starts to sit in, you know? Yeah, near the end of the day. Yeah, you, it's like that's physical that's, fatigue and mental as well. Yeah. It is a little bit of a marathon. Yeah, hey, maybe maybe you'll feel the same way, Mike. But I, I feel like riding motorcycles and dead pushing's got a lot uh, in common because you know when you're doing either one, you're just all the way. You're focused like 100, percent and you you look away a little bit, and then yeah, you're gonna have you, catastrophe. You hit a pothole. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'll use a paddle probably eighty percent of the time. On, on when I need a real heavy hit, though, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to my ten ounce below ten or a body hammer like that, but it's coated. Dude, look how clean that's getting, dude. I know you guys. You guys, these guys will come back and check on this, Joe, and then. You still have attention on that? Yeah, it's still, it's still, still there, there, huh? Is there any uh, is, is there any low spots above still, Brandon? Yeah, there's still um, just the. Uh, we'll let you, the, the we'll let you we'll let you push on that, dude. So. Try it without it though, Joe. Without the tension on it. Okay. 
Moving. Staying. Sharper? Yeah. Yep. Get me behind the brakes. That's looking. Do you want a Do you want a, like a, a really sharp tip? No, this is good. Uh, so I can give you a PDR finesse tip, dude. That yeah, that'll poke it out. <laughs> I still want kind of a soft push. To yeah. Okay. Although you know, there's, you got a point because no pun intended. It. Uh, Too much of a swoop, or do you want a shorter one? I feel like it's still a little too sharp for us right now. Yeah, I think I might be looking at too a high, a crown on the other side of the brace, or, or right where the brace is at. That might be uh, tricking our eyes. So I'm gonna move the light a little bit back. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. I'm gonna give you guys just this shot here. I'm gonna give you guys a different point of view of what it's looking like right now. I saw how different it was four hours ago. Yeah, Joe, move out however you want, dude. Okay. Yeah, that tight crown just on the other side. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. Um, and I feel like there's a crown right underneath the cap here. Yeah. We know it's coming together right there at the bottom. It does. We ought to consider uh, taking those things off and then. Yeah. I said we just, just see what it gives us. Dude, dude, how's our batteries? Let me take a look. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Beedy, beedy, beedy. Uh, getting low. Not bad, dude. The last this straight five hours so far. You guys hanging in there, huh? Who's on? I know. Joe Bobby Z. 
Joe, what's up, brother? Hey, what's, what's up, up, Bobby? What's up, Bobby? How you doing, man? Actually, actually, sorry, guys. I'm going to do that. Bobby, we were talking about you earlier and your method of uh, pulling from your uh, B pillar on your van. I thought that was brilliant. The mobile environment, you do what you got to do. Uh, yeah, there's no right camera at all, dude, for any of these live videos, unfortunately. They're, you're going to, especially when you're tied to a cord. One, this one right here is actually the one you're seeing right here is a really good camera because it focuses like a mofo but it hates lines i mean i don't care what autofocus camera you have when you have lights and lines the camera is just like confused like what is that kind of like you bog pdr text that's exactly how it acts to so that's it <laughs> Do we want to go ahead and remove the rest yeah. of the pads as well? All of them, right? What do you think, Joe? No, I think we're good. I think we, we want to hold. Yeah. If that little sucker at the bottom wants to stay, I think we should keep it. Because, quite frankly, I feel like it's less. I mean, arguably, less taking, bit, yeah. taking it off may show us some groundwork that needs to be done. And we've got four. But. I think as long as there's some tension on there right now, especially because I can pull or knock down some of these cards around it, you have to turn that around. All right, you want to push? Uh, uh, I'm gonna knock down some crowns. Oh, you knock down some crowns? Yeah. Brand, and then uh, Brandon, you're up for that push on the low, up, up. Okay, after tension. after he's happy with his crown work. I would, okay. I would love to have the tension, uh, lateral tension on it while I knock down some. Dude, crowns. Joe, that looks really good, dude. I mean, like, I, I know we're not done yet, but the body line. Can you bring that board in just a little bit closer? I mean, towards you, just a hair. Yeah, yeah, that body line looks pretty damn good, dude. And Ladies and gentlemen, we're not cheating. These, these are very, very thin lines that Joe's using. So it's not quarter inch lines, not quarter inch spacing. It's like, I would say it's a little thinner than eighth inch lines. So you're, you're getting more detailed uh, view of, of the reflection. Joe, go ahead. You're ready whenever you want, dude. Okay. I may have to move the, uh, the That's line. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I see what crowns. you're doing. Some There's slight some subtle crowns out the outside. Hidden. Yeah. We call this hidden crowns. Anybody who's wants to know about lines, those are hidden crowns on the outside. Slight bend out there. I would love to still have the lateral tension on, but you know, it's kind of in the way. Of the yeah. Crown, so. I think you got the majority of what you needed to do on that. I mean, this this also helps give more metal towards the center what Joe's doing. So that's the purpose of why he's hitting on the outside as well. And then the other thing too is you can always set up another lateral tension to lower the body line like we had before. So it's something to consider. If, if this thing seems too like I'm fighting it, it's I'm having to force it too much, then we may do that. Yeah. Thanks Darren for watching. <laughs> We've been trying, man. Someone says, get cranking and quit spanking, fellas. <laughs> Vibration would do wonders, I would know. <laughs> oh yeah, I know, I know, Hugo. I'm just I was just trying to fixate different stuff here. So thank you though. Great job, love y'all. Thank you, appreciate it.
hitting in a way that's not in the shot, shot so that's why I'm giving you the white shot. Joe's hanging on to that perfect pole. He's like, do not let go of that pole. When it's gone for an hour? No, no, I know. I'm. I, it's just when is how long has that been pulling, dude? Over an hour? Oh, yeah, a little over an hour. Yeah. Pretty good. Dang, Joe, that's looking good, dog. I'm going to be abusing your car for a while with a hammer. Crowns there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm watching the vibration on the dent itself, the, above the body line. What's it doing? How's it reacting? It's, 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 you know, it's pulsing because yeah. you, that's where the tension's going, dude. I think what, what typically happens, and without tension, lateral tension, with these body lines is you'll chase the dent back and forth. Yeah. Um, up and below, above and below the body line, and I think that's what's happening right now. So I would like to get that the uh, lateral tension back on in a little bit. But for now, I'm just going to see if I can knock slap down some of these rounds. Yeah, that's. Notice I switched to the stainless steel. Yeah, steel. because you're more precise, right? You're... Exactly. Yeah. I'm gonna rewatch this and then fast forward it a little bit as you're tapping, and I'm gonna watch that dent, see if it's caught, if if it, if it actually helps shrink it a little bit. You know what I mean? Because you don't really see it like when you do it one tap at a time. Yeah. Do you? When you go, when I go back and edit my videos and I'll rewind the, the playback further, you yeah. can see the movement uh, of that stuff. Some That's of the true. some of the videos you see me as I'm tapping, you can see it move. You know what I mean? Yeah, and we don't see that. That I fast know. forward. Yeah. yeah. Bobby Z says, wow, it is shrinking. Uh, it's high strength steel, Jerry. Thanks, Hugo. We appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you play Highway to Heaven, you're good, dude. Bobby sees it. 
Bobby C says it's all in the rhythm, right? I said, as long as you play Highway to Hell or Skull. Yeah. Oh. What do you think, Brandon? That was Sepultura, right? Sepultura, man. That's what he's hearing in the vibration. Hey, Joe. Yeah, I'm moving my head all different directions. Let's see more. All right, Brandon, you almost ready after after Joe? Yeah, ready. We still we still know we got some tapping down to do. So, I think Joe like, was yeah, really yeah. relaxed that dent for Attention you. Now. <laughs> Joe, you can see that that crown going down yeah. as you're working that out towards the towards the middle. Of it. So, like, if, if you want to put the lateral. Brandon, you get get close to the panel. If you, you want to? Yeah. Hey, am I in your way? Yeah. But, but. You can move the board in closer to you. you. Which way do you need me? You see from there? Yeah. Perfect. That's it. That's money. Money. Okay. Making progress, Rick? Move your keep keep to the right. Let the dog see the rabbit, Brandon. Move over. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Job, dude. It is a little harder having to try to try to. Uh, I, I see what Joe was talking about, like trying to avoid being in the. Dude, talk about skill. Like, now you now you have respect for my dent training right? videos, yep, huh? Yep, yep. Trying to get the fun out of the way. Yeah, it's it's fun. And do a good job and film. Your shoulder loves to see more than we do. <laughs> is it left or right shoulder? Your left shoulder, dude. All right. Suffering for his art right now. Bobby says, damn, Joe, go get it, boy. <laughs> that was Brandon. Mike, what's the tool he's using, and can we see it? Yeah, yeah, we'll see it. It's a, to pull, yeah, pull it out right there and put it right there next to the light right, against the panel. There you go. More forward uh, where the dent's at. Higher. Yeah, right there. So that is the new tip from uh, Anson. Uh, that is like their... Uh, what is it called? I don't know what they call it, but it's like the, the sister of the of the crown buster, but it's for pushing and tapping if you want to use it like that. Yeah, now you can see that. Now you after that dense con, you can see still what's left right you know, on that. Which I knew you were trying to do. I know that. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? I mean, even pushing it now at this point. Is helping to, kind of to pull that tension yep. back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good job, Brandon. And you see how it doesn't, dude. I love that tip. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't allow you to make mistakes. Man, okay. Every time I come here, dude, I, I find some new way of doing things. That's gonna be on my, on my list. Back at you. I mean, we all look. Do we? We're all teaching each other, and and we have an audience learning as we're learning, awesome. dude. Yeah. Right. It's awesome. And it goes to show you that these PDR repairs like these aren't going to be your wham bam, if, especially if you care about how it's going to be. Left shoulders in the way. Thank you. <laughs> you can move the board. I don't care if you need to. 
How's it? Uh, is it getting kind of tight right there by that brace, Brandon? Yeah, a little bit, right? Do you want a, Do you want a different tip or tool? You want a blade? Everybody gets to see my armpit. <laughs> instead of like holding it. You want a shorter tool? There's one on the ground. I just want to hit it from the other angle. I like the, the uh, length of the tool because then it gives me a lot of power. You have that same issue I had from the other side. Ooh, yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Very nice, Brandon. It's just that little bit. Of, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and, me and Joe rocking back and forth going, <laughs> oh, left leg. <laughs> okay, tap that down, dude. Yeah, and, and see what you got just on that. I think that's looking good. Yeah, it's got a lot. Those two bits, man, right by the body line. They, I was really wondering what the hell was going to do. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to pull that. I knew the slide hammer was going to have its its place, but not until we could get some. We are actually getting close to finishing this repair. I uh, still probably got another hour to be honest with you, just cleaning it up. I actually, uh, I'll probably let my customer know. He'll probably pick it up around five o'clock. Uh, probably going to be on here another twenty minutes live, and then we're just going to go ahead and just kind of round about it. I will show the rest of it on. What we'll call it. I don't know when, when, but we'll come back on on live on Facebook. And Instagram will be on here and all that good stuff. But hang in here. We're, Joe's going to probably blend a little bit more. And then we should probably have it probably close to 85% or better at that point. So. It's just really some cleanup down below the body line and crown zones. So. That black tip wears through, too. Where's that? Uh uh, let's see. It's not down there. It's right here. Uh, now there was a. Uh, yeah, there we go. If you want a longer uh, knockdown handle, he's he's in the moment. He's in the flow state. I'm not going to tell him to move. Not gonna tell the what? Not gonna tell you to move. No, just do you. <laughs> but like this, I can no. get a little bit easier. Now your hands hiding the action. It's okay. It's good. Don't no, don't worry about. It. We're we're close. Dude, just get just get it done. Now, because of how much involvement it, it, it takes. And if you were sticking around the beginning of the video, we showed kind of the estimate. I was before tax. I do charge tax here at the shop, by the way. Um, it's around $2,100, okay, with tax. It technically should have been more because we didn't, we, we don't forget, we actually removed that window, did the trim, removed the, pan, the door panel on the inside as well. We were thinking about taking the door panel or the whole door off the vehicle if it was going to be necessary. We were already thinking about as well if it was going to be oil can. That's why the purpose of that lateral tension was going this way to tighten the center so as we push, it's not going to go bloop, 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 and pull that tension out. If you think about it, that's what the power PDR box does as well. So it's, it's actually expanding the metal a little bit, right? But micro tightening up the the, the, the the loose part of the metal. Anyhow, I know it's getting really technical.
but anyways, that's that's where we're at. Yeah. Now I want to push below that body line. Yeah, huh. that would be the next. I, I think probably juicy, buttery. Yeah, you know right. what I mean. If we could put the tension, the lateral tension. Go ahead. You, you want to jump in on that, that lower part of the body? Go ahead. You should do it, dude. No, I was just, I was just starting at the, at the crease and then just working back down. Dude, nice job, Brandon. Nice job, dude. Bring the light towards you a little bit more if you can, so for the camera. There you go. Thank you. Okay, right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Still resisting a little bit. Huh? Yeah, it is. Um, this is where I would probably, if I, if it was my thing, I'd probably go a, a sharper tool and just first really bring that in. Would you think so? Yeah, dude, I love, I love doing sharp. I, I feel like there's, I feel like there's room for the lateral tension to be a little bit higher. Still, really? Yeah, and uh, just to bring more of that wave out because I think when we look down the side of it. Still that little bit of a wave, and it's going to be there whether we like it or not, uh, unless we press it down the tension. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think putting the, the lateral tension on it, and then uh, allowing us to move some more of that metal while it's rigid, I think we're probably at. 65, 70 percent right now. 60, 60 percent. Yeah, 65. Put some work on that hat, Brandon. Huh? Yeah, right. I got a brand new get a grip hat too, dude. If you want. Yeah, that's all magic courage. That was all. Right. Like, that's right. <laughs> all right, Joe. Let's go ahead and do what yeah, you want to do, dude. Okay. Right there, We're gonna do one more. Do do? We're gonna do one more lateral pull. I, I, I was on the same page as Mike. I was, uh, I'm almost like, if it was me, I would, go, I would start to tip it and then poke the rest of it out. Yeah, I see what Joe's saying. There is some tension here. I would just do it. Let's, let's yeah, and then there still is that little bit of a little bit of a body line too. But I felt I couldn't really get to that little specific spot with, with that tip. Yeah, I just feel like if we keep it a little bit clean, you know, if we could uh, put that tip. Tension on the sides, right above, right above the body line, so that you can work this section. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Like right above the body line or middle, like lower. Maybe we do both top and above and beyond. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, you want to close or you want it far? Yeah, a little further out. Okay. I don't see this thing just without that light. Like, yeah, you, see, you see the shadow down low. Sorry, guys. I'm trying not to. That's the natural light, okay? You can see that, that, that dent below, right? You see yep. it? A little shadow. And then here's what Joe's saying, okay? Like that's true. Yeah. If that, I think we can address that and put less push marks if we put the lateral tension back on and it can just give us yeah. a little more control over hitting the wider area of metal uh, yeah. instead of just yeah. pokey, pokey. Ready? Okay, sorry for all the good camera movement, guys. I had 16 cameras, it'd be awesome. Why did we do this live, Joe? Do you know why? Yeah. Brandon? You get a learning experience for everybody involved. Thank you everybody watching. I'm learning stuff. Self-abuse. 
right? We are all to a certain extent like masochists, you know what I mean? We, we, kind, of, we kind of love this adrenaline rush, you know? We, uh, we almost yeah, like Bobby. Use. They work really good. My mics might go out, so if the mics go out, then we will call it on this we will, one, yeah, okay? We'll wrap it. On here live, we're not going to call it on the dent, but we're yeah. uh, understanding and knowing how to read the lines is priceless. You, indeedy, indeedy. Bobby, you know what, dude? Hit me up. I'm actually going to give you a special link, dude. I'm going to give you a uh, link to. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm actually going to give you a link. You can make a little bit of a uh, little bit of kickback on that dude, on, on the special link so okay thank you though dude appreciate it thank you bob uh reese got it done mike want to eat yeah I, I do want to eat too i'm gabriel from columbia hey gabriel gabriel not gabriel sorry my daughter's name is Gab gabriel gabriel Sorry. Can we get closer to the damage? Uh, I, I will. I will in a little bit. I'm always learning with you guys. Thanks, Bobby. We are too. You guys are awesome. The techniques I've learned from you guys, I've applied to my job on working in the sheet metal on airplanes. Awesome. Thanks, Kevin. Glad you get could learn. Thank you. Thank you again, Bobby. All right. So... So we're doing some uh, lateral, double lateral. Oh, this time again, huh? oh, we're doubling up. Oh, oh. It worked well, so right, why not? I'm going to keep it going. I'll keep it going. I know you guys want to see it. Before you do that, mm -hmm. Brandon, can we bring the light in? I can... My first trip. Mm -hmm. We're good. All right. We're good. We're still, still working. Uh, so I, want, I saw a little bit of a pie up in here. Yeah. This could be holding attention to. What's up, Sean? Uh, Bobby, it's on Kiko, Kiko tabs. You know, you get a dent trainer discount too if you're on there. Um, we were just talking about that. I think it's between 280 and 300 bucks uh, for that. Right on, thanks. Thanks, Bobby. Full time job, cameraman. Doing Joe, trying to take as much crowns out as you can. Yep. Spreader. 
That doesn't sound great. Like <laughs> the glue spitter and your dents will push like butter. <laughs> Now, now, up next, fellas and ladies, we're going to spread spread it like we're going to spread it like butter because it's going to push a lot better. Uh, do that again. I do that again. I I think I saw like that that tension. Undo that again, Brian. Undo it. Yeah, undo it just for a second. Undo it again a little more. Okay, now go now go forward. Okay. Okay, I thought I saw tension, but I don't see it now. Oh, yep, I do. Yeah. How far are you gonna go? About like that? Yeah, or yeah, it's got some it blows here, so that's a good sign that we we got enough tension. How's it looking on the edges of those tabs? Uh, over here it looks good. Yeah, this side looks good. A little bit, I get a little anxious with the sharp edges. Oh, yeah, of the bolt and the uh, block. It works phenomenal, but uh, that could be that to the paint upstairs a little bit. Yeah, that what? It's the sharpened corners and edges and stuff. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. This is, this is evolving technology. It I is. I know that Keiko is going to bring something even better than me next year. You know, you know, what they do, yeah. yeah. This is going to be the big, they're going to sell out of these over at Mobile right Tech there. Expo, dude. You got some monster tension on there, too. You want to take some off? off? Oh, no, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Make it really yeah both of them are, I'm like kind of gauging on how, how much pressure I'm feeling here. Yeah. No, this is good. I'm going to move the light. Yeah, I know who he is. Yeah, Bobby. Uh, have a, or message me and let me know what the deal is. I'll be more than happy to advertise on there. That, uh, that would be great. So go ahead, Joe. I didn't want to interrupt you. What are you thinking? Let's start pushing. Let's see if that metal is going to move a little easier. With all that tension and strength, and just pull on there. If I can zoom in a little bit. Tell me when you're ready. And I'll, I'm ready. I just have to zoom in. You, you. As we, as the skin gets further where it needs to go, yeah, we uh, extend the layer extension. Yep. Yeah. So there should be a. Oh, and you know what? Your it's right here, actually, Brandon. Sorry about that. All good. I like the knurled extension. So what are you going to right now, Joe? Yeah, right. What tool are you using right now? I'm, I'm saying uh, Ultra, same Ultra uh, double bend with that Anson, the new Anson tip, the green. Oh yeah. Yep. Tropic on an R4. Okay. And with the uh, two, it looks like a two-inch extension. From yep. Ultra. For more leverage. More leverage. Bobby, thanks, man. Thanks for hanging in and watching. We appreciate your support as well. Thanks, Bobby. We'll see you guys on the next on the podcast too. So, are you on the podcast? Uh, we're not done here yet. So, what's your thoughts, Joe? Do you, can you see a difference at all? Yes, absolutely. Pushing is a lot more responsive. Yeah, it's looking good, dude. From here. Joe's probably one of the most patient people I've seen do dance, dude. 
Right? Yes. Yeah. Extremely, extremely patient. I've noticed some of our meetups, um, some of our uh, colleagues <laughs> that I've had conversations with, with our buddies, they're, I can feel they're. They just want to get on it, dude. Right? Working on the desk. Yeah. And they're like, they just want to get in there and you know, match it Well, out. some of our colleagues are too jumpy, right? We, 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 well, you know, I feel like I wouldn't say, like, I don't know. I guess we all have our, we have our styles. Like I said, we do. I, I'm okay with working on one car a day. And I think that when you can do that on something like this, when you price it right, you well, I, you would be okay with yeah, two grand, dude. I mean, you Absolutely. know, I think, uh, if you got like, if, if you, I mean, I'm not, it's none of my business how people handle the money, but if you can't make a living on two grand a day, right? And I'm not saying that's what we make a day. I'm not saying we make less or more, but I'm just saying. If you can't, then you need to you, seriously reevaluate. You can't, yeah, if you can't, if that's not good enough for you, I don't know. Look, you're stressing in a bad way. Right? Yeah. On the other side of that is if you are if you are asking for those kind of numbers, you know, it has to be done clean, I feel like. You know, Oops. You can't just rub it out. Uh, Kelly says, I just got home. Would you all mind starting over? Just, just kidding. Looks like it's working out. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome, Kelly. Thanks for tuning in, man. So on the camera, you can see that foot or like, you know, the outside tension. It's got so much tension. It's, it is oh, yeah. bowing down here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I wonder what round tabs would be safer than square ones. You know what I mean? Like you keep a round tab, but you still have the same thing. Yeah. I mean, I think they're good if you're close to the edge, so it's perfect for that. Yeah. But for open, open panels, panel. yeah. round, right? Because yeah. it's less less open likely panel. for it to, to make a corner edge. In. Yeah. You know? That's just feedback here. Joe, in my opinion, how are you actually, you just get good at tapping with that big fat tip right there because uh, with me, this is just me, my foot's front, I can't see, I can't see exactly what I'm getting to, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, um, it's for the broader crowns that I'm using it on. Toss it over to me, let me see. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's for the broader stuff. Dude, that's amazing you can hit that accurate with that, dude. It's, um, I know it's broad because you're like, you're not hitting one specific line. You're hitting like a, a couple lines because it's it's a crown, right? Yes. It's yes. And so you're broadly hitting two or three lines technically at a time, right? It's because kind of like, uh, it's like using the blending hammer with the big mushroom you know, dip on there or, uh, or a slapper. Yeah. It's kind of along those lines. And I find that on this thin gauge metal anymore, you know, I personally haven't had as much luck with like a slapper tapper on this thin gauge stuff. So I just feel like it it, it moves. It's too effective now for me. But that could just be my uh, my you know uh, style. I don't know. That's I, and that's what we're here to talk about is different ways, right? I, and I'm thinking for other people who do that. Yeah. Listen, our mic, my mic is gonna go out. So is his. So can you see that blinking? You see that? It's about to go. So. We will try to hang in here as long as we can. Oh, now Joe wants to hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the quick get it to 85. 
It's like uh, the three toed slide. <laughs> Is it Jovia at the end driving the race car? Yeah. Yep. My kids love that movie. How is it, Joe? It's it's like butter. You guys want to try it? No, I, no, I'm, you're doing fine because our audio is going to go out. So I was just like, yeah, you right. Know. Just keep motoring away. I did find that there was. I was. I, I didn't know that there was going to be as much uh, difference with that lateral tension on there, um, but pushing without it and then with it, it was noticeably different. Yeah. Yeah, noticeably different. Because I was thinking, well, you know, we're we're already this far along. I don't know that it's gonna, you know. I don't know how much it's going to do, you know, and it, it did a lot more than I thought it was going to, you know what I mean? On that, yeah. that last volley of pushes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yes. It just makes your life a lot easier and the work is cleaner. It's like using heat on the dip without having to maintain the heat or yeah. paying attention to it, you know what I mean? Right. You just set the tension and, yeah. Joe, that's looking, it's looking good, dude. Your shoulder's in the way, Joe, but <laughs> sorry, dude. <laughs> I don't. I probably get like a midpoint plastic tip. With a little right. Yeah. Tip. Oh no! You don't get on this one. That way you won't slip. So what what Joe is doing real quick is he's actually uh, we switched the tip to a. Plastic tip. I love this one. Really? Like, this is a little precise. And it gives you with some tape sticks, on there. You know, like when you use a uh, sharp metal tip, how it just sticks. You get that same kind of feel, but with the forgiveness of plastic. It's going for that little bottom, little low in there. Ooh, I can tell it's hard to get to, isn't it? It's, that was a ticket, though, Mike. Huh? That was a good touch. That little tip is getting that the depth up a little bit. And with the tension on the sides. It's, yeah. You might you might move your shoulder just a little bit, Joe. Yeah, perfect. You got it. Okay, cool. Yeah. A wing. Now, this is the finishing part, ladies and gentlemen. Before the audio goes out, this is one of the harder parts right here. If you don't use the right tip as you go into the finishing, as the dent gets smaller, Joe was using the right tip. I right? don't get me wrong; he would have got it. But you know, we, we get tunnel vision even at this stage. Yeah. After four or five hours, it, it, you do start to fatigue does start to set in. So that's where we usually recharge the batteries, step aside, eat lunch, recharge. Yeah. Uh, you know, and get uh, break out of that tunnel vision. Yeah. And I think, uh, Mike, you you just proved that because just changing that tip right there, look how effective that was. So, thank you. For that. No, don't worry. Yeah. Dude, this is looking good. Everything's good. Mike, straight. So I'm going to move the camera down a little bit so we can capture below the body. You can see. See that in there. I do. Yep. yep. And fortunately, I see. I can see what you're talking about, but the, that tension bar is right there. Don't worry. Just do your thing. We're coming to the towards the end, guys, of this repair. Looking good. We're gonna. We're gonna. It was our lunch. Now it's turned into our dinner. Isn't that monitor good, dude? Having a monitor going. Oh, I love it. Let's see what you're doing. You out of your study? Yeah. Okay, thanks, dude.
What do you think, Steady? The debt? Yeah. Steady's like, what'd you think of the debt? What thing? Did you write that? Help did call on the ladder, the double lateral. Right? Jump for the win right there, for sure. Well, you know what? Now you make me, I should buy another one. Buy a second one, huh? exactly. I, I think I have to buy another one, dude. I one think we point. both, well, all of us will buy two, dude. Right. Well, I'm already using two now. Uh, you got that and then the, uh, the urban, right? Yep. Yep. Right on, Miguel. I will see you as well next Tuesday. Have a great Labor Day. Is it Labor Day, right? Labor Day weekend? Yeah. Labor Day, right? Labor Day weekend. So I'll see you on Tuesday. And uh, we are training with another student as well. So we will have in company. See you soon, dude. Don't forget to watch those videos before you come. Do not push, though. Okay? See you then. How many people? I should have had a marathon, dude. Like, they have to check in, like, randomly. If I said, if I called their name. Yeah. I'm gonna next time. Next time we're gonna have a contest, Joe. We're gonna get a big prize out, and the They're prize is they have. I'm gonna say like I'll say, I'll, I'll everyone's gonna check in. I'll write yeah. down like 20 names. The first 20 people are in. They have to stay the whole repair, and I'll just randomly call their name. And if they answer, they're in. Yeah. And if they don't, they're out. And sorry, you're eliminated from yeah. And that, and so it happens. Like, that repair could be. Yeah. Five hours long, eleven yeah. hours. We did a repair. It was eleven hours. Dude. Yeah, live on one time. This is going. This is over five right now, dude. This is six hours. Six, we're going six hours right now. Is it four yet? Yeah. We're gonna do. We're gonna do that contest dude, next time. How many people have actually been here? I doubt it though. There was like a hundred people at one point, like, and then there was me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was just telling say. Do you think everybody's like uh, motivated for it? You know, just like uh, us sitting here watching the, the whole repair, chiming in, like I'm loving it. The interaction is awesome. Thank you everybody for watching yeah. being part of it with us. Yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah, Brandon did say that. Yeah, hey, come on over here, Brandon. Yeah. And so Brandon just said, thank you guys for watching, staying as long as you guys did. We're going on six hours on this repair. Real time, no, yeah. no cutting, no editing, obviously. We ran into some real problems in the beginning. Some were could have put a little bit of preventive, uh, but dude, that's that's just how it goes, man. On these type of repairs, no chewies, no right. big like, oh man, I messed up, and you're spending two or three hours extra in the in the yeah. in the repair. Go. There's, there's gonna be no sanding afterwards on this one. I'm like, shit, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm like, yeah. It's, 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 it's looking good. I think a good quality buff and yeah. Hey, before my mic goes out, I don't know if it did already. But no, it did. You guys, thank you. Thank you, Mike, for the opportunity. Thank you. Brandon, thank you for all your help, dude. I was looking but forward this, to coming in and working with you, to be honest. This, well, yeah, yeah. like what? Yeah. Heck yeah. So, so I also awesome. learned something new good, from you. Good repair, man. Dude, this was a bit, that, that was life changing. Got a little bit of a huh? feedback. Oh, yeah. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. I know a lot of you guys watch and you forget to sit there and go, thank you, and hit the like. If you learned something, please feel free to do it in the comments. It, I will respond back and I'll try to give you guys a, back a shout out, okay? Thank you very much for your support. Also, if you want to learn more about paintless dam repair, you want to learn some business parts, the PDR parts, get some tool discounts as well, check out denttrainer.com. The link is in the description as well, so if you go down there, you can click on that, you can go check that out, okay? My name is Mike Toledo, along with Brandon and Joe Garcia. Brandon, what's your last name? Again? Harrington. Harrington. I always forget his last name. Yeah, and oh, another okay. shout out to Mike and Dent Trainer. I learned so much off of Dent Trainer. Um, hours and hours of sitting there watching it, and then now I've actually got a lot of the respect for how hard it is and the amount of work that he has to put in to put those videos and everything up. So definitely like, subscribe, do all that other yeah. stuff. But big shoulder. shout out to Dent Trainer. They'll teach you how to get your shoulder out of it. Yes, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, Thank appreciate you. you. Thank I, you. I didn't pay him. You didn't. He didn't know <laughs> I was going to say that or anything. That's like, honest to God, I learned so much from this. All right. I, that's what we wanted to say before the audio really cuts out. Well, I, like I said, we'll keep it going until the audio cuts out, but at least that. Okay. Good God. Hugo says he was here for the full repair and it was amazing. Thanks, Hugo. Thank you, Hugo. We're gonna send Hugo. In. He was in there. Yeah, you know what? Hugo. Talk to Hugo oh. or something. Yeah, he was. He, he was like the fourth. All fourth right, man. I'll get you a hat. All right? Why don't you uh, send me your address? Message me, Hugo. I will send you a hat, dude. All right, you get time. I searched for PDR and caught this about three minutes. It's great. A new subscriber. Thanks. Glenn, appreciate that. Learned a lot of you guys. Thanks for showing it all live. Thanks, Ryan. Dude, that dude's a, that dude's a quick learner, dude. Ryan Benham, dude. That dude. Let me go check your repair out. Sorry. Damn, Joe, what you trying to do? Gloss that out, dude? Hell yeah. Every time. It's the only way, man. In fact, I mean, you might see some push marks when we're done. But Shoot. You have to look for them. You, wanna, you guys want to feel what it feels like with the with the tension on it? I got I, I got both sides of it already. I yeah. I mean, I'm a, I'm a believer for sure. Me too. Yeah. It's like heat that you don't have to maintain. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Any of the high strength, the high strength steel, I'm like, all right, my, my mic's done. Sense. We're ready to go. We're going to finish this off camera. We're pretty much done, guys. So I just want to tell you thank you very much one last time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow on the Dent Time page, the Dent Trainer page. Go check out Dent Eagle. Follow him over there. Brandon, you don't have a Instagram. Nomadic Dents. Nomadic Dents? Nomadic Dents. How do you spell it? Yep. N-O-M-A-D-I-C-D-E-N-T-S. Nomadic Dents. Yeah. Nomad. Like you're a nomad. Exactly. Yeah, I nomadic go everywhere, dense. and that makes sense. Peace out, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys learned something.